The following program is intended for mature audiences. Episode 145. I remember. I remember. You remember? Yeah. Should I call it, nigga? That was a That wasn't that loud. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that was <laughs> not that was like, right. That wasn't that loud. <laughs> oh, oh, soft <laughs> clap ass nigga. That shit, <laughs> that shit was monstrous. You know what? If, if you were at the doctor's office, he said you don't, you won't have to worry about that clap. It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> He's just like, um... You have the bare minimum. Just take some of as- aspirin. It'll go away. I just rub some toasting on it. <laughs> rub some toasting on it. You'll be all right. You're now listening to the Truth Be Told podcast from Trillmatic.com. Trillmatic.com. What episode 145 of the Truth Be Told podcast. It's your boy Big U. You in this thing? Reef is in the building. Black Todd is in the building. Whoa. Well, well y'all niggas both that. in the buildings. Nah, yeah. no. they in this thing. Reef is in this thing. Black Todd is in this thing. I'm in the building. Ain't no in the in the buildings. I, hey, I'm in the place to be. <laughs> you should have said something Wait, different. Can we, can we start over? I don't introduce myself normally, so I didn't know what to do. All right. <laughs> Big U, you's in this thing. Reef is in the building. <laughs> okay, nah. <laughs> Fuck this shit. The intro's fucked up, y'all. I oh, appreciate everybody for joining us. Black Todd is here. On the Truth Be Told podcast. This thing said present. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. You ever see that fucking kid in class where everybody's like, here, yeah, hey. here, here. It's always that one asshole that's like, present. present. Like, <laughs> shut your fucking ass up. Set him out in the hallway for saying that right. shit. Get your ass out of here, present. Um... Yes, thank you for joining. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube, trillmag.com slash YouTube. Uh, you, you know, we'll go see a couple, couple what, one videos. Four, 145. Four, five, yeah. 145. Four, four fever. Yes. Uh, I wanted to keep the episode off with something special. Oh. For Texans. Here we go. Uh, a little freestyle. <laughs> no, I'm talking back. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Handshake tugs. You want me outside? You want to see me with pancakes and drawers? Take your fat ass to sleep. I'm jumping out of the candy coat of Grim Reaper Jeep. I put you to sleep. I put you six feet deep when it's in the ground. I blaze pine. I let my top down. I could have played for Washington Redskins. Six points for a touchdown. I might give you a six point diamond. It's a carry. This is a parent. I'm, uh, I got more knowledge than both your parents combined. I graduated never. I didn't go to high school in 99. Everything was fine. I banged Jane Wine. Uh, no homo. I've talked about it back in my trunk. That's CD deck. The players want to check. I eat checks mix. Hey, want to get in the mix. I ball. I got a fresh set of kicks. I'm play for the Phoenix Suns. I graduated in 1991. Damn, that motherfucker older than the motherfucking moon plus the sun. He got older than the damn solar system. I come through, uh, now I might pop trunk on your sister. I eat fried gristle and bacon with eggs and toast. Everybody, damn, my motherfucker right there, he ball the most. He ball from coast to coast. He ball across seven seas. You talking about, oh, I'm in a game. Motherfucker, you on your damn knees because you gay. I pull up sitting sideways with sway. We at a Chinese buffet. Eating on a Monday. It's a Tuesday. Make it feel like it's damn Ruby Tuesday. But it's Saturday. But it don't even matter anyway. I come through with diamonds and sapphires across my chest. Figured I was Ken to Ken Griffey Jr. I come through. I played down south of Oklahoma soon. I could have played for tailback, halfback, or hatchback. I'm in a photo hatchback. Damn, motherfucker could have played for the Dallas Mavericks, but they found crack in my jacket. They found marijuana in my socks. This motherfucker, damn, Mark Cuban said, man, you're going to have to box one of these players because they're going to take your position. Diamonds going to glisten. We're, we're twisting. We got a sign on the back. Let's just go fishing. Let's go to sleep. Man. <laughs> I know is that, that is. not one of the greatest freestyles of all time? That's, that's so tasteless. <laughs> that's so tasteless. <laughs> Can you take a guess at who that was? Oh my goodness. I know who it was. You know? <laughs> yeah, I can't. Tailback, halfback, or hatchback. <laughs> that's not a football position, but I understood what he was saying. Oh, duh. <laughs> can, you take a, take, can you take a wild guess? And it's a Texas rapper? It's a Texas rapper. Yeah. Oh, obviously older. <laughs> yeah, I would say so, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. so he said he was graduated in yeah. 91. <laughs> he said, damn, he older than the motherfucking <laughs> moon plus the sun. <laughs> Could have played for the Phoenix Suns. Uh, man, who is that? He said, I'm like, uh, pop trunk on your sister. I'm going to tell you, he's riffraff. 
<laughs> I would never guess that. You would never guess I that? I would never guess that. Bro, this freestyle came out like six or seven years ago. And I never heard this freestyle before before uh, this heard week. It. Uh <laughs> but I don't think people really understand that that's how Texas niggas freestyle. Yeah. That, he was in his own too. Like, you know what I'm just, saying? That's like, that's like he was sitting there with his arms prime, crossed and everything. Yeah, the, right. prime, the prime of Texas rap. Like when he freestyle, <laughs> that's how it sounded when it was freestyle. Everybody sounded like that. Yeah, freestyle. that's exactly how everybody everybody sounded when they freestyle. Yeah, they would real. just say why. I, I don't think they would say as wild as stuff as, as Riff Raff was, but nah. everything the Riff, some people would. Everything Riff Raff said makes sense though. Yeah, it did. I was more entertained by that. I'm gonna be real with you. I was more entertained by that freestyle than I was with the Eminem 11 minute freestyle. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I lying. had more fun listening to you this. Ain't lying. I did too. I had more, I didn't I know smiled, what he was going to say. I, I smiled longer. My face started hurting. Because <laughs> you're like, there he owned it. He's still hey, going. He's still freestyle. Hey, and that's, that's the thing also. That's when you know it's a freestyle. That that feels like a that freestyle, is a dog. freestyle. Eating that's at a Chinese written, buffet. That's not written. That wasn't on a Monday. Meditated, you, say, oh, you know, memorized. Moon no. Yes. <laughs> That's when you know it's freestyle when you say some wild ass shit. Yeah, yeah. Like you try, you got fillers. You'll say something that just might not even make sense sometimes, but you just keep going. He said, "I got crack in my jacket," and he got that Texas ass voice too, yeah, which yeah, makes yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's yeah. that's exactly how Texas. That's I just want you to know that's how that's how Texas freestyle. Oh, no, at I that time, I see somebody on the time. internet say that uh, that he stole that flow from uh, from uh, Blue Blueface. Excuse me? I know, bro. This shit blew my mind. I was like, <laughs> blue face? I was like, what? We This is how Texas flows. That's, yeah, Texas been been rapping like that. Yeah, that's how we've been rapping, though. So show your respect to Texas, man. Yeah. Uh, we hold it down. We hold it yeah, down. Yeah, I just wanted I just want everybody to hear that, you know, to get a little piece of Texas culture uh, <laughs> in their face. <laughs> the candy coated Grim Reaper Jeep. <laughs> She held it to the motherfucker, held it to the moon and the sun. <laughs> that shit was wild. The Kenny, Kenny Cody good reaper. He said, team. Mark Cuban said, man, you have to box, box one of these players. <laughs> oh, you keep your position. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, yeah. God. That's just hilarious. Yeah. Uh, man. What, uh, what we got for this? Uh, I think you think you said we got some for for this day. Yeah, man, we got a couple on this day, man. And you know, there's always a lot of these, but I try to keep it on stuff actually on the day we record, just to be fair. Yeah, but uh, we had three of them today. So it's not the day it's released. Yes, the day we record. We record on Mondays for anyone who didn't. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, four years ago on this date, rapper Bobby Schmurder was arrested in New York on murder and weapons charges. It was how many years ago? Four. Four? Four. Oh, she should be getting ready to get out of jail soon. Oh, it's, it's really about to happen. I don't know. I think he got some years left. So oh, Okay. I thought um, he I thought he gave him like six or seven years. Five years ago today, Mac Miller released his live album, Live From Space. Word. The internet was produced by the internet, ID Labs, Teddy Rockspin, and Thundercat. Hmm. Teddy Rockspin? Do you know who, do you know who that is? Were you, were you, were you here for, were you, were you outside when Teddy Rockspin was out? <laughs> Are you, are you talking about this guy or no, 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 the, the bear? The, the bear. Okay, the, so you know the bear. The, the yeah. bear. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, 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 right. I just wanted to make sure. And that you then um, the Simpsons premiered twenty nine <laughs> yeah, years ago. The Simpsons the is still Simpsons. out here rocking, dog. You said twenty nine years ago. Premiered twenty nine years ago. They still out here and they still predict us, though. <laughs> they are still oh. predicting shit. Oh yeah, shit that's, scares me. It started to scare me a little bit. It scared me a little bit too. That's a great episode too. <clears throat> so it ain't like I think it's a Christmas episode. First episode, I think you might be right. Well, oh, and one more quick shout out before we get into the the segments, man. Uh, take, shout out to Take Keith. He not only got his number one record up there with a uh, with Sycamore, but he graduated college too. Hmm. Congrats! To oh, him. I did see that. Yeah, congrats. Oh, yeah, yeah. Congrats yeah. Um, I mean, now he can, he can uh, he can he can take that to. I mean, I don't know what he went to school for. But don't matter at this point. It really don't matter because he. <laughs> You know what? What are you gonna do? Get a job as? A, I mean, you know, I gotta, I gotta commend this <laughs> like, let's dude. Say, let's say he, like, let's say he went to school to become like a, like a, a biologist. He just gonna, you gonna leave, you gonna go from saying take he fuck these niggas up, how this song said <laughs> biology. He, he pictures dude, no, <laughs> yeah. pictures dude in, in a lab coat. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Makes these fire ass beats off the clock. <laughs> Do on, on, on his lunch break, lunch break cooking up on his phone and shit. Like, yo, check well, this out. Well, yeah, test tubes, petri dishes, like yeah. important shit. Yeah. You can't get contaminated. He over here writing this shit. Yeah, much they hate working with that dude. Right, right. He back. Oh, what y'all do? Oh, y'all got Chipotle. That's just funny. <laughs> How about you, Tiggy? Oh, no, me and uh, me and Travis Scott had, had something to do real quick. Right. Oh, 
okay. you know what's with the school? Yeah, okay. You know what's with the school and kind of made it cool for a second? Lil Wayne. He did. He was trying yeah, to go to University of Houston for a minute, he right? He did. He did. He mm-hmm. did. I don't know if he finished that, but. <laughs> At least he inspired some people to do yeah, it. Yeah, he did inspire some people, but I don't, I don't know why he really did it. Take he, he, got he, got a, he has to start all his papers like that. Oh, just, yo, instead of a header, it's just take you. He's just like A plus a immediately. Plus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Let me stop clowning. All, all right. right. I'm back on task, man. Sounds like a higher bro? education. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, man. Let's do this. I love higher let's education. <laughs> Where you want to start, man? We this week in Boom Trap, we bring the segments back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we need to. We gotta, uh, we gotta. I guess we gotta talk about offs- <laughs> Offset. Woo, offset. Woo, woo. <laughs> uh, yo, Offset. Listen, man. I don't know. I don't know how. Listen, I know people are talking about this album is gonna sound fire now. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, it's, it's gonna I, be fire, but I'm not gonna believe it anymore. I'm just not. This man was out here apologizing real hard. On no, that. and I. Uh, He's doing like one of those like those like kid apologies the way, too. The way you know that it's going too, which trying to apologize and kind of like getting like pushed away, like I ain't hearing it. You know, crazy like I ain't hearing it. I'm I'm pretty sure we're gonna hear tracks on the album dedicated trying to still apologize. To get it back, yeah. I don't want to hear that. Though, I don't. Man. I don't. Either. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it's gonna be what we wanted. It's gonna be something more like that. Do y'all think Cardi B should let him back? <laughs> Do you think Cardi B is going is going to take him back? I don't know. We. <laughs> right, I really thought she was, but I, I, after that, after that stage shit, the I'm like, I don't know. Look, we can run down what ha- we had a lot happen in, uh, in t- to Mr. Set this week. <laughs> okay, I can't take credit for Mr. Set. Dragonfly Jones said that, and that's still the funniest thing ever. But <laughs> to Mr. Set, we had uh, the game. He posted a video, and, you know, saying, "Hey, man, t- take all set back." We had uh, Twenty One Savage. Had the crowd chant and take Offset back. 21, 21, 21. Yeah. Offset gave us a, uh interesting apology video. It, it looked like in the bathroom somewhere. <laughs> Please, Cardi. He said, what did he say? He said, uh, he said, I, I didn't fuck that girl, but I was entertaining it. <laughs> I was entertaining it, yeah. I was thinking, hey, you probably could have left that out, but. <laughs> yeah, that last one, like. <laughs> okay. You were doing he well said, to that point. He said, uh, no, one of my favorite line was, he was like, I, I broke a promise. I broke God's promise. I was like, damn. Again. Shit getting deep. You had something there until you... <laughs> until you <laughs> said... Lied. I was in I was a t- I was in a We know. You could have left that out. But, that, uh, is that is that? Have y'all ever apologized like that to, to your chick? Nah, not with... Not with no. Oh, not so y'all are all better than Offset. Y'all are, y'all are bigger players than Offset. <laughs> no, I just act right oh, to begin no, with. I don't think I should answer that question. <laughs> y'all are all... Y'all, y'all not, y'all not going... Y'all not going to submit to your wives and your girlfriends. See, that's not what I'm saying. When I you do put, wrong. I don't put myself in that position. I just you don't do wrong? <laughs> not, not that wrong. I was just They're still wrong. I'm not going to incriminate wrong. myself in an apology is all I was saying. <laughs> if, 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 if an apology is warranted. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, let me say it like this, though. Let me say it like this. I do feel like he, I feel like it's, I feel like he's really apologizing at this point. Yo, Offset, you know what I'm saying? Offset is hurt. Yeah, like he's oh, like, yeah, this, he's this is hurt. I think he thinks he's really going to lose about it. His child and his child too, culture, you know, he's yeah. like, he's, I he's feel thinking bad of the him. bigger picture right now. It really is, it's, it's hitting him. He's thinking, damn, this shit might happen. I might lose it all. Yeah. You know, he felt like he was sitting on top of the world and he, all of a sudden right now he's, He's on the bottom trying to get back up there, you know, right. pretty much like feeling like he he he, <clears throat> he put him he put himself there and he said he said what I did was public, so right. I'm making my apologies public. Which you should everyone. okay, which is which it's only everybody's right like, why would you make this public? And I'm like, well, he he kind of Everything embarrassed her in know. a on a public Level. scale. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if she was like, yo. Say that shit on Instagram. <laughs> I mean, and he, yeah. he you know tweeted what I'm that too. He said everything else been in public. Why not this too? Yeah, exactly. This is gonna. This is gonna tell you something. Anytime he listen, if they do get back together, anytime that he cheats, this shit is so high. Oh, pro- this over. shit is so much in the public that anytime that he even thinks of like texting a chick, she's gonna be like, "What about Cardi?" <laughs> Yeah, for real. <laughs> they never, none of these girls are gonna let Dude, that listen, shit rock. The public's gonna hold him accountable from here on out. Fuck yeah. They work this out. What y'all think about him pulling up at her during her set like that? That that had some people fired up online. Well, they I mean, said that that the people who had a little, you know, like the people who were doing the show or you know were setting it up had something to do with it, possibly. But then they said that they didn't, 
And they said that it was Cardi's team that actually helped set it up, too. And look, somebody getting fired, Seth. if that's true. Yeah, if that's true, I, I was like, wow. I don't think anybody's going to... Well, they, I mean, they shouldn't have mm-hmm. said that. But this... I mean, this this man... <laughs> this man really loves her. All right. To be doing all that. He brought out cakes and all, you know. Yeah, like, for real. He 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 went he went to... <clears throat> three cakes. Big cakes. The extra mile, but... I think Cardi's just like, get the fuck off. She's like, stage. this is my fucking moment. What are you doing? Yeah. Because it was the first time a female's had that honor. Yeah. So she was like, what the hell are you fucking doing? Yeah. Is, is this his version of, of standing outside her window with the, with the radio with over the radio? his head? <laughs> Holding the radio over his like head? Like this? <laughs> Some <laughs> shit up there, like a boombox. And somebody's like, get, get the fuck out of here. Shut the fuck up. It's <laughs> three in the morning. I work tomorrow, asshole. <laughs> Like, Yo, uh, Sharif sound like he said that shit before, right? I have. He definitely told some kids to get off his mom. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> um, now, nah, I mean, listen, it's, it, listen, I get it. I get what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure she gets it too. But it's just like, nah, all right, chill. You know what I'm saying? You're doing too much. Let her have. Let her do her shit. Maybe come on at the end of the. Maybe at the end of it. You know what I'm saying? If, if I can give you some advice, <clears> offset, you gotta. He gotta let her cool down for a minute, man. Like it's it's about timing. Smothering her. It ain't gonna get you anywhere right now. Fuck I think no. the apology, if he left it at the apology that he did, like he was better video, off. He, he, I think he was in. I think he was. You know, if you if you let her just rock a little bit, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying. She would have came back. But this is just like now nah, you starting to get on people's nerves and her nerves. Yeah, All yeah. Right. She wasn't too happy on that stage. One uh, thing no. I will say this: the one thing I thought was pretty dope. I watched a video she did after that, and she his, this whole time has really been like. Kind of holding him down as far as making people respect him, as far yeah, as the relationship him. with the kid, and just right. as a person. So she's not here for people bashing him, which shows a, a certain level of maturity on her. Oh, yeah. It does, yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. So I thought, you know, I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, she's listen. Cardi B's like ratchet, but she's she's not she's not a dumb chick. Like, you know, she's from the hood, but she's not. She got smart. She's not she's like still. hella ignorant, like on that level to where she don't have like some sort of. Some some sort of manners in home training, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, a soul. That's yeah, she do. That's why. That's probably why Offset is in love with her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because to him, he's like she's all around, right? You know. I know he said things like, "Oh wanna, man, she mature now." He said, "I just want to, I just want to be with you, you and Culture for Christmas." I was like, "Yo, he yeah. wildin', dog." That video, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of women teared up at that. Don't listen. Don't front. Man, look, he said some shit that got women like. Girl, take his ass back. I already know Everybody he did. Said, Not culture. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the baby in there. Shit. <laughs> I just want to be with my family. One last wish. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that shit going to so we'll work out, but we'll I don't see. know either. Yeah. yeah he's, he's pushing it too much. <clears throat> Trying too much is going to get the opposite effect. Yeah. You, you don't want to get to a point where like you, you like, <laughs> The girl's like, all right, I'm going to take his ass back. I'm going to let him suffer a little bit more. And he just kind of like keep pushing it, showing up at a job and shit. Yeah. You yeah, know you what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, all right. This ain't, this ain't fucking TV, Nick. This ain't the movies, all right? In yeah. the movies, you can do that shit. And everybody's like, oh, shit, take his <laughs> take ass back. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, real life, people like, what like, the fuck? Yo, I'm on my fucking, I'm at work, nigga. Bossy maybe. Like, <laughs> maybe. Are we he supposed needs to, to go have ahead and, uh, drop that family album. while you're on the clock? Maybe he's a drop the album. She said it made her cry twice. If the material is that emotional, maybe letting the public hear it will help his case even more. Maybe we might hear him by, oh, Cardi, please. Yeah. He's going to have a track on her called Cardi Take Me Back. <laughs> this is going to be so trash. <laughs> it's going to be trash. I'm sorry. I, feel I don't like even want to. Like, I don't even know how you would. <laughs> unless you have Ty Dolla Sign on it. Like, you got to have Ty Dolla Sign singing for it not to be trash. Man. So it turn, it'll turn out that Takeoff did have the best. CD from all of the, the, the Migos, <laughs> the I, most I, the most heartfelt. You know, I, I who has seen that coming? I, I did. <laughs> I, I I was listening. I always thought Takeoff had something that was going to happen, like, right? Like, I just <clears> something know. important. Yeah, yeah. Like I thought he was going to shock everybody and be like, okay, because if their albums don't elevate past his, which I mean, there's going to be people who thought Quavo's is better. But nah, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> you might be surprised. It might be like two percent of people. Two percent. Yeah, I thought. It was well, there's still a couple out there. Yeah, everybody's already people. giving it to take off already. So yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, Offset, you know, it's up to you, right? Uh, I guess we gotta get into this. <laughs> we gotta get into the. All I see, all I see on the whiteboard is Yay versus everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the world. <laughs> Oh boy! 
Did you Did you see these tweets? I saw some. You saw some? Yeah. Could you Could you just I guess go over what you did see? I have some uh, yeah reference tools if you need. Just yeah. Go. Oh, you got all the tweets? Yeah, just I do. Just yo, give just give them up. I don't well, go, go, I'm gonna give you some. Of my there's best. too many go tweets. Ahead. Don't e- so don't even read all these tweets because there's way too many damn tweets. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all some of my uh, some of the highlights. Your favorites? Some, some, top, some five, top five. Top tweets. five. Uh, <laughs> top five tweets. Kind of tweets. This, go let the oh, people got, know what's going on while I read through I, these. I, I, okay, one of them is one of my favorite ones is he running around here like he pop. <laughs> I just, I think I that just shit saw was that one. so funny. I'm reading it. I just it. saw that one. Yes. That's one of the funniest ones because I'm like, all right, maybe Drake that's, is the new Pac. That that that's so that's, that's real of Kanye to say though. Right. For anyone who's unfamiliar, uh, Ye who is taking his rants from you know video like we used to get him, which I'm not gonna lie, I used to enjoy those a little bit. Um, he lets loose on Twitter and he fired off uh a, a lot. <laughs> Just tweet after tweet after tweet, multiple within the same minute for like an hour or so, maybe a little longer, about his feelings on <laughs> and the state of his relationship with his good neighbor, Aubrey Graham. <laughs> oh, and uh, we're going to give you some of these highlights. This is here. the wildest shit about it. They're literally like less than a block away from each other, and right? He, here's, or just a block to, away from each other? A just mile to make or something? this even better, I'm going to read some of these out of order and in completely random just to see what y'all were dealing with. And for those wondering, reading them in order didn't make much more sense. So yeah, no, it didn't. it's not like we're losing anything. So it, like he said, he ran right here like he pop. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Um, let's see. He be texting people I know like it's cool, but won't sit and talk with me. <laughs> then it was he running around like he pop. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't send purple emojis to Scooter, but you what you want to do. <laughs> what you want to do with your brother? I'm your oxygen. Don't never speak on three fifties. <laughs> Yo, Kanye's tripping. <clears throat> There's a kid in critical condition. Yo, he was like, he said, when he said, Saints to the right. I was like, all right, bro. Um, that's the one I'm looking for. This is when I realized. I was like, bro, he be on here watching these fucking YouTube I'm videos. I'm not going to physically fight you like it's that's MTV right, boxing. <laughs> How you going to text Chris but not speak to me? So all of this looks like it stemmed from, okay. Trust wh- God. <laughs> the, what it looks like it stemmed from was Drake or Drake's people sent... Uh, a text to Kanye's people, or, or a text didn't send or an a text. It, didn't, it didn't send a text. He just he just sent the uh, request to uh, get the sample uh, clearance for say what's real. Now a lot of a lot of people are like why does he need that? But I'm I, I feel like what Drake is about to do is put out so far gone on streamer services. That's what I, I've heard. He's gonna I think put, that's what his plan put is. Put some mixtapes on the services, in which case he would need that cleared. Because Wiz, you know, he already. Did that? Yeah. See, Wiz, are, listen, Wiz be out here setting trends and don't even get his credit. That's true. Wiz did it with Christian Orange, 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 orange yeah. Juice, and now and now Drake's about to do it. So I feel like that's why he was getting a sample clearance for that. You know what I'm saying? Then 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 Kanye goes and puts this out. So this is why this shit faker than wrestling. Okay, and puts this <laughs> puts this out, <clears throat> which got me to thinking that maybe okay, uh, I kind of feel like Drake. <laughs> okay, we all seen the shot. When, yeah. uh, when, uh, Drake was talking about Kanye, yeah, yeah, right? And yeah. how, like, he was telling him, oh, you gotta be up front with me, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? So he was up front and then all this shit came out, right? I'm wondering if the same shit happened again. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Where right. he's like, yo, you could talk to me, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever you want, whatever you need, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, well, you know, I'm thinking about putting out so far gone. You know, I just need to get a sample clearance, man, for it. Say what's real. He's like, all right, man, well, you know, just, just whenever you're ready, send it up. She gets sent up. Kanye takes it and puts the bitch on like, like, look at y'all. <laughs> look at this Boom. shit. You know what I'm saying? And I yeah, think that's yeah. the reason because everybody said Drake was out here laughing on, on Instagram. I, I think he was laughing like, too. yo, I got God again. That's I, what it looks like yeah, to me. I screenshot oh, that when they put like five me. of the, yes. <laughs> the crying laughing emojis on there and that's it. Right. I think that's what he put that. I honestly think that has some, like, he's just like, yo, I cannot believe this is happening. Real quick, I found the tweet. <laughs> to the right, it's on site. Satan stays to the right, bro. I think Saints like three, so I don't I don't even want to dive into that. But Ye said that Drake threatened him and his family. Um, Yo, even Kim tweeted. Even Kim tweeted. Now I, I have a take on that. I'm gonna get to that in a she second. Says, but stay away. From, what did she say? Don't threaten my don't family. Don't ever threaten. Only find a weak ass tweet, man. There would be no Drake without Kanye. Which is something he said too. 
Which but is dude the was truth. letting these tweets. He was was the screenshot. By the way, that's that that's that's, that's it, right there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So. And then uh, I didn't get to see. I because I went to go look and I was like, I don't see what they're talking about. But I guess well, I, was, I, I said I know you don't follow him on IG, but that's fine. No, I, I do follow. I do follow Champagne Papa. Um, then he also remember started getting mad at Travis a little bit, which we're like, okay, here he goes with this shit. What do you think about that? About the whole situation. About with, with him with him going at Travis. I'm with Travis. <laughs> Texas all day. <laughs> I mean, and he had a, he had a couple like strong statements, like this one: meeting with Trav tonight. Better never be a checks over stripes line again on a Trav song on Donda. This nigga said on Donda. Say like, okay, yeah. first of all, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, Donda, a, it's like, a lot. Damn. It's a lot to unpack here. But like, you know, people were just kind of like, you know, yay, okay, here he goes again. But I think I think you might be kind of right. Maybe again he got got again. We're wondering what this threat was. I you know I was telling I that's was telling says, you you. That's what he says. He says he says Drake finally called. Yeah, Drake Drake called. Then he says <laughs> sample not cleared. <laughs> <laughs> with Do the I, laughing emoji. I don't I agree with someone else that I heard talking about this. I don't think Drake actually called him. <laughs> I don't I, I think don't Drake think probably two, did call him. I don't think two of them are capable of having a conversation with each other. I think Drake did call him, man. I, I really do. I, I really <laughs> think Drake called him. I, and uh, now I don't know what this threat was. Okay. So you don't believe I that like Drake you called said. and threatened uh, Kanye? Because. No, no. Here's why I don't believe that. Because I think one, I think he knows just as well as anybody that conversation is going to be recorded. Like if you remember back when they did that to Taylor Swift, Kim and Kanye did that to Taylor Swift, and she was upset. <laughs> Yo, they they put they put Taylor in a they bad did. spot. I don't think they he did. thinks All for right. one second he could have a conversation with him and it not be recorded. So he would. I forgot about them. that. And two, I think he knows shit like this. But I like what you said though. You said. <laughs> I think he may have told him, hey, man, listen, do it again. I got something for all y'all. I don't think he was actually threatening the family. But. <laughs> He's talking about all the good all the good music? I don't know. But I think it's funny. He may have just texted him that purple emoji. But. Dev- yeah. I think what we <laughs> have to address hey, here. This is, this is the second time Kanye this came so out about this damn purple emoji. <laughs> it is. Like, yo. It is. I don't know what the fuck that shit mean. But I don't you know like it. Saying? Yeah. <laughs> man, look, y'all. You, you had the funniest tweet ever. He said, Drake should just tweet that emoji. No, say nothing else. Bro, I, that was the that. middle Hilarious. of the tweet hey. storm that, that Kanye's putting out. Drake just puts out one. One, 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 one devil head. Devil b- emoji. Yeah. And then just leaves that it That would have been hilarious. That shit would have got a million retweets. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Uh, but I, I think the funny thing, um, and I can't exactly say why because I don't know. I think Drake really got this dude shook. I, I don't know why. Do but- you think Drake, Drake would threaten Kanye West? Would your brother? <laughs> God damn it. Here we go. Hey, look, and let's 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 go back. Let's walk back a couple steps here. When we heard the W freestyle, that was ninety five percent dissing Kanye, five percent push. Okay, I don't think he's scared of Kanye. It was like eighty five, fifteen percent. Okay, but still though, for what it should it should have been eighty five, fifteen the other way. Okay. really for the fight it was involved in, but I don't think he's worried. And then yeah, even tweeted, I'll never put out a diss track. Yeah, because Pusha T's gonna do it for him. That and I have a yeah. problem with that too. That's another thing I, w- I want to talk about though. Like that Drake won't. That mean that uh, Kanye won't get into a beef. I don't think Kanye wants to do that because I don't think he wants the retaliation. What might be said? I think. I think there's just so just the, one of the other reasons why we didn't get a, a push response. I think deep down, I don't think there was as much dirt out there. On push your team. Yeah, I think yeah he might have said some ugly stuff or whatever, but I don't think there was actual that much content yeah. to the reply. Right. I think there's plenty for Ye. So why don't you just dish Ye? Well, I think that's why Ye's saying he won't do it. It's like, yeah, because if you do it, you're going to get a reply. And you can't go and, th- and ho- think that Push is going to do all your battles for you. And I actually don't think Push would do it. Because Push said in his interview that the two, the two of them have a weird relationship. Yeah. He did say that. Ye and Drake do have a yeah. weird relationship. But I don't think he would do that. Push seems like one of those, like, yeah, I got hands, but like, you know, <laughs> like, no, I'm serious. I think he'd be like, you know, I'm not going to let you get killed or nothing, but like, right. I'm not going to fight your fights for you. No, yeah. I won't let him stomp you out. I kind of like, feel like Push T's been fighting his fights for him, though. I, yeah, I, I don't late, feel like. Yeah. I feel like Push T is like, he said, also said in the interview, like, 
You know what I'm saying? Like he's a he's a part of good music. These are his people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you attack one, you you're basically. Going I can at see all him saying us. like you're attacking me. You're attacking yeah. my team. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, can, I, I, was, I handled the dirty work. I right. would see him jumping in if it was get, unprovoked. Right, I take out but the something trash. like this, yeah, do. <laughs> something like this, you can you gotta gotta let let Ye go at least one round by himself. <laughs> you you really think Ye would beat anybody in a battle? No, but I'm you saying think Ye I has think that. There's more dirt here anyway, and he wouldn't do it. But so check check this. Yeah, I would like to hear. I would like to hear Ye like in a, like in a, in a battle a, situation. Battle. Yeah, he would get smoked. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think he would smoke. I don't think he has that in him. <laughs> J Cole already smoked. Yay! <laughs> look, like okay, let's look at this. He and he, here's an okay. A couple. There's a couple things here. I, I got notes today, man. I got notes. No oh, man. <laughs> so Prepare. Snoop wasn't trying to hear none of it. Okay, Snoop. He's like something. He actually had it. If y'all want to, I had the quote. If y'all want to hear it, but yeah, yeah, what's yeah, the quote? What Snoop the wasn't trying to hear none of this from Ye. I was reading that Kim K is over him tweeting. She wants somebody to take take his Twitter away, basically. Uh, let's see, man. Let well, because like <clears throat> I don't know, I don't like this doesn't this doesn't help kind of you know what I'm saying like so I don't know I, it doesn't none of it seems strategic. Some of it just seems like off the wall. Yeah. And then somebody was like, oh, we need to take meds, and I was like, I don't even think that this is like a medic. Like I don't think he's has like a mental illness or nothing. You know what I'm saying? He's I don't just ranting. Yeah, I think he's just ranting, man. He knows he's got, he has a big megaphone whenever he gets on that Twitter. He probably, he probably has to, so, he probably has some music coming out out of nowhere soon. Some people are saying that too. It's a possibility that he makes noise and then all of a sudden, bam, Kanye West music out. And then all of a sudden you're just like, oh shit, well, he's in the news. Let me see what's going on. You know, people just go with what's going on. You know, like, Kanye is. You might want to think he may say something in his, in his music. You know, if he's talking all this crazy shit, you know, <clears throat> On Twitter and shit. Well, that's kind of so, what happened with the, uh, that's kind of what happened with his, uh, with the, when he put out all his albums. Like, it was, like, the shit that he was talking about on Twitter was on the album. Man. You know what I'm saying? It was like that relevant. I was like, I wonder if he tweeted the tweets to give context to what the album, you know what I'm saying? It's possible. Let me say this. He does think outside the box and, cra- and crazy at times. I don't, I don't think this is yeah. good for the Kanye brand, especially not- with the year he's had. Oh, no. What, what, he, I don't understand. So here's what Snoop said. Here's what Snoop said. (laughs) Snoop was in a video in his car listening to Drake while he said all this, by the way, because we love pettiness. <laughs> he said he said on some real shit though. I'm I'm giving you power paraphrase this. He said on some real shit. Are y'all tired of these Kanye tweets? Cause I am. I see why you and Trump hang out. Y'all tweet like a motherfucker. Oh, y'all need to go on Doctor Phil Amari. You know what? He need Jerry Springer. And he continued on to say. Get your ass off the phone. Go holler at him in real life. Stop telling the whole fucking world because you're acting like a fool. That's the crazy thing about it. They, they, they're like, um, uh, what? Like a mile away from each other? They live in like the same neighborhood. That's fucking crazy. Bro, it's really like from uh, my house to your house. If not closer, the I don't know fuck. how far apart that they, is. Like less than ten minutes, probably. Oh, I think no, they're less closer than that. Than that. Yeah. And then, and Kim less Kardashian said, "Less than it's probably two minutes away, huh? A minute away. It's probably like maybe a five minute walk, ten oh. minute walk, probably." <laughs> a source said that Kim Kim K is all for him getting off Twitter because she's fed up with this too. Okay. And if we're being honest, that's not good for the Kardashian and Jenner empire either. This nah. nonsense. She be going. She be going wild on Twitter. And then, too. and then and she does. Like, like you remember? I told you this too. This is my other take on this. This is why I think they ain't slick and they ain't fooling nobody. She had. Kim, well, I don't know if it was Kim or if it was him from Kim's phone. I don't know. Whoever tweeted it, Ed Drake, don't ever threaten me and my family, blah, blah, blah. Okay, first of all, Kanye's taking some L's this year, okay? Yeah. But I was telling you, you, Chris Jenner has never taken an L, okay? Chris Jenner don't take no L's. So if you're going to try and militarize the Kim K army, she got like 50 million <laughs> followers, okay? They ain't slick. So they are not slick. Let, let's 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 go into conspiracy land. Just a little <laughs> oh, bit. this is the best land. Just a little bit. Let's do this. All right, should be fun. <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the conspiracy part of YouTube. Uh, Welcome to the dark web. <laughs> if I kind of feel like if let's say Drake did threaten, it just kind of seems kind of weird that he would threaten over the phone. You don't you know look like it either. With the fact that people are recorded and all that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Kanye and Kim being uh, as um, high profile as, as they are for him to actually make some death threat or yeah. any sort of 
threat for physical harm. You know what I'm saying? Just seems a little, little, little kooky. But let's say he did. All right. Okay. Maybe they were tweeting that to, to show like, to like protect themselves. All right. Cause Kanye did say, if anybody, what'd he say? He said, if something happens to me, it was Drake. Yeah. It was the same was thing Drake. that, that Triple X said. Yeah. It was the same thing Triple X said. All right. Am I drawing any comparisons? But I'm just saying. All right. Which is worth noting. He said that after he was talking cash shit about Drake's mom, just who, oh, uh, who was X? He was talking about Drake's mom. You don't remember that? I thought he was talking. Oh, he shit was about, talking. <laughs> shit I thought, about his I thought mom. he was talking just talking shit about Drake uh, and his mom. And his okay, mom. but what his, the push T did too? So are you trying yeah. to say? But this was this was more saying? like now this was like this was more like the kind of shit like kids do to each other. It's like okay, but people like I was gonna respond. A lot of people said no. He didn't worry about him, and he never did respond that we know of. Again, this is the conspiracy portion of the show. Okay, now here, now here's yeah. here's the thing that gets a little bit inter- more interesting. All right, go a little deeper. All right, okay. I'm trying to figure out what in the fuck is going on with Kim Kardashian, right? Because let's say I like where we're heading. Let's say I've heard a couple theories. Okay, let's say <laughs> let's say he he threatened them, right? Yeah. Okay, and Kim responded that way. All right, so that would mean that Kim is frightened. Okay, and so is Kanye West. I'm picturing it as it's being presented. Drake says some, <laughs> yo, say say some more shit. Some more shit. I'm taking everybody out on the right. That includes Sank, nigga. Okay, and they're freaking the fuck <laughs> that out. That'd be the wildest thing. If he okay, I'm just trying. To, I'm just trying to picture this. <laughs> yeah. This shit, how it's being presented <laughs> to us, including Saint. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Saints out of there, G. I'm coming. I'm coming I'm down coming the street for everyone. right now. De- it sends like five devil emojis, right? Okay. Kim's like, oh my fucking God. She shook. It just all that this shit just seems kind of weird. Like nobody's going to the police. What have you brought on to our family, Kanye? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's look at He's it. He's apparently at- all pleasant with Chris Jenner. Yeah, yeah. Like nobody else is tripping. Kylie's not tripping. Nope. Who's with Tra- Travis? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Tra- th- Kylie Travis is with Kylie, has a baby with Kylie, who was on a song with Drake, the number one song. Yep. Mm-hmm. Who's who's also cool with Kanye, who Kanye is talking shit to. Who wrote a lot of stuff for Kanye. He's worked with Kanye a long time. This yep. shit is like a publicity stunt to me. It nah. gets better, you figure. He has an issue with Drake <laughs> talking slick on a Travis song. When Ye produced a song where Push was talking slick all like about the, Drake. I feel like That's they're all saying. working together. They have to be. This has the to be a Chris Jenner on. production. <laughs> what I tell you, Chris Jenner's taking no L. <laughs> this is a, this is None. this is Chris Jenner's <laughs> finest work. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I'm about to say, remember that shit for fucking, uh, usual, uh, usual suspects? He's like, you ever, uh, he's like, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> Look, another this thing. This is all Chris Jenner's doing, Another thing. Because you know, let's just say, let, wait, wait. nobody's seen coming. <laughs> let's and then just, just, pow. Let's, okay, let's say Kanye. Because like this. there's, there's plenty of narratives that are coming out of this, right? Let's say Kanye is kooky, right? And like, let's say he's like just super fucking paranoid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Let's go with that, right? Drake ain't even doing shit, but Drake is uh, Kanye seeing these purple emojis. He's like, shit, I don't he, know if this shit means this yeah, shit. Yeah, he's just thinking. Did, did, he kill, did, did he kill X? Is he going to kill me? Right? Let's yeah. say Kanye's dealing with that shit, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So Kim would have to be the voice of reason in that, right? Or she would just be like, oh shit, Kanye, you. <laughs> Yo, you got me scared now too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like none of this shit just seems like a, like a like. It's not lining up. Yeah, none of this shit seems like a real like. I none think of this shit she's just real, trying to bro. support her husband, but she's like, "What the fuck?" Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's what it would have to be. You that's know what, what I'm about. saying? Like, yo, I'm gonna support my husband, but like, yo, is is my family like really in danger, or her? is this thing tripping? So. Here, here's another reason why I don't think saying? he actually Let me in the loop. Threatened. I don't know what's going on so, here, guys. Right. And th- this is gonna go more to your conspiracy theory here. So. I don't think he would purposely do something to damage his nice guy brand. Who, Drake? To the public. But to the trained <laughs> no, rapper nigga, here. He's a, no, no, no. He's, what he's, you, you've he's been a hearing. sicko. But what have you been hearing? Well, we've been talking about this. Give me him talk greasy. Remember, he's greasy gotten, as he hell talking, the last couple years. Bro, he's, he's, he's got upset. The last the common, the since, common he, <laughs> since he came out on Black Boy JB shit. <laughs> since he came out on Black Boy JB shit. 
His greasiness has taken the like it's like a it's whole right, level. But to, yeah. the, to the just the the casual <laughs> ear, that one's hearing that. No, they just like they just like to hear him talk about some hard shit. But you listen to him, you like talking. Yo, because I, I always take that Drake whenever he's. I'm, I'm gonna just be with you. When I, I listen to Drake. I feel like he's being as honest as possible mm-hmm. at all times. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you know what I'm saying. He may he may change a few names to protect the yeah. identity of certain, certain people, people or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I believe that he's. I believe that every time that he does something, he's being 100 percent honest as possible. Well, a lot of you know what I'm a saying? lot of people say, "What is it about him that pushes Kanye's button so much?" Which makes me go back to again the rumors that did something happen with him and Kim? We don't know. I don't think anything happened with him and Kim. I need answers with Drake and Kim. I really don't. I I'm, think I'm, I'm I think that was a reach. Sit down for an excuse, an exclusive. Okay, I don't. I'll take one for I, the team. I think this has more to do <laughs> with <laughs> competition. Kanye f- going from in the front to the back. Drake coming in, taking over. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Drake is also, I believe that. When he said I'm a sicko, I'm a real sicko. I believe that at that point he was he was getting into sicko mode. Okay, yes. and now he's in full fledged sicko mode. So I think he's in a dark place. He drove past. Go Kanye's get sicko house. mode now on iTunes. <laughs> hey, I plugged it in. And shit. I, know, right? <laughs> I think he, he he drove past Ye's house. Then we saw Ye outside. Beat. Yeah, yeah. this way, maybe you know. <laughs> Hey, just like in the video. Bustle remember, right. remember the video we said there. Price. <laughs> price. I think that's all he did. That's he did. Like, Yay. Pay the price. <laughs> and he ran. Yay ran in the house. Sweet. Kim, hide the kids. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Get the pants up. Yeah, I, I'm just picturing this shit. Happening. Get into the safe <laughs> Nobody's room. Nobody's calling. Nobody's calling police. <laughs> no, this is happening a block away. They're like, is that Drake? Right. Is that? <laughs> Drake ain't hiring Drake ain't hiring no goons. Oh, He's just in the car just it's like handling himself. Now, it's so but check this out though. So Ariana Grande <laughs> during this whole thing <laughs> said, guys, I know there's grown men arguing online, but Miley and I are dropping our beautiful new songs tonight. So if you could please just behave for like a few hours, the girls can shine. That'd be so sick. Thank you. Kanye says, I know Ariana said this to be cool and didn't mean no harm, but I don't like even the slightest level of slight commentary from someone I know love and respect me. Okay. That's for, that's, that's a wild a, a comment there too on Ye's part. I feel like it's wild for her to do what she did. And she apologized. No, she did apologize. Well, be, I didn't know she apologized, but I mean, cause okay. Yes, Drake and Kanye are Going, doing doing thing, the, doing thing. Yeah. Uh, it's affecting your rollout for your new single I get it you know what I'm saying everybody's talking about this and they're not going to be talking about you but I feel like if you're a big enough artist that like you are she is you, big. you should be quieting that down yeah. She's she said, yeah exactly it should have the opposite he, effect of what you're thinking it's going to do to you her response right. was with all due respect I don't need to use anyone to promote anything period I was making a comment about what men were doing at the time versus women. It was a joke, which I understand now is probably insensitive. Yeah, that's another thing, too. It was just kind of like, hey, it, it, to me, it felt a lot like, don't look at the guys. Look at me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is like, all right, well, if you got to do what you got to do to get on. Now, this is this is the best one. I saw this. This was posted by The Shade Room, which is a great source for certain things. Add to our conspiracy <laughs> theories, okay? <laughs> This is from Yo Black Tide is the new academics. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Y'all just gonna disrespect <laughs> Yo, me for all the trillions. Source. Y'all gonna disrespect me for uh, the trillions yeah, coffee yeah, academics. You have all the you have all the good shit in a minute. Yeah, for real. <laughs> hey yo, act dip from my life. Hey <laughs> <laughs> yo, dip from my life, act. Um <laughs> Somebody, you may have seen this. Sir, someone said I would hardly call Kanye arguing with himself grown men. You know who said that? There's someone who never speaks. <clears throat> it's not it's not S underscore C underscore. If you don't know that is that's that's, that's Jay Z's Twitter. Oh, it's like hidden Twitter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I would say that it, you said somebody that never speaks. Is it another rapper? A singer? This was Baby Mama. Who's Baby Mama? Drake. I'm talking about the the, the porn? Porn star? <laughs> Talk about the porn? <laughs> I'm at a porn star. I'm not gonna say anything about that woman. All right. Which I was like, this is getting wild. I don't need 
Drake pulling up to my house. We don't need him cutting the lights or <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. shit over here. Out here in Colleen. We don't need purple devil emojis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Being sent to my text. So, I phone yeah, home. just to... I, <laughs> hey, look. I'm going to text you that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, nah, man. So, he got to chill, though, man. You know what I'm saying? And one, man, one more thing I want I wanted to say this before we can, we can get off gay for a minute, but one thing I did not like that through all of this was like, especially now there's been a lot of talk, especially this last year about actual mental health, mental health issues, Mm -hmm. mental health treatment and all those things. I don't like him kind of trivializing all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because you want to wild out and then fall back on it when it's convenient. Yeah, yeah, Because I feel like that's really disrespectful and insensitive people who are actually dealing with stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. And you just, you know, you want to wild He's out and get on that. If yeah. you have a real problem, I get that. You know, and I, okay, I respect that. But, like, I don't even know if Kanye I don't like has how a, he was acting. Does Kanye really have a. Okay, does he have I, Tourette's? Oh, shit. Because <laughs> he, he, he just says that. No, I think he does have something that needs to be addressed and however it needs to be what? treated. But, like. No. I, they, what? Like, this, this tweet right here, he said, if I'm bipolar, this kind of shit can get me ramped. Bipolar, okay. maybe? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if it is, but I don't even know if he is bipolar. I'm not going to pretend know. like I'm qualified exactly. to diagnose anybody, but exactly. I think he clearly I has am. some type of All right, and I Googled it. Nigga, Doctor, you, you no, said. I'm just, I'm just and, around. And, and I found out yeah, that nah, nah, he nah. is. Nah. Nah. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't know. Like, I, you know, he's like, oh, when I'm not taking my medication, it's like, I'm on fire. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, all right, bro. Because, like, I, I've never felt like he had like a mental, a mental health issue. This is another thing too, man. I believe that there's, a, there's the mental health issue. Okay. Yes. We, we should, you know, like take, take focus on that for people. Right. Yeah. But I also believe that this must have getting a little carried away with this shit. I don't think everybody has like everybody's like got like a mental disorder now. And I'm like, are y'all fucking diagnosing yourselves with fucking Google and shit? Like who told you you had this shit? Is there anybody that's certified to tell you that you've, that you got your anxiety. I, I, I told you about magnesium, right? Bro, this people was like, yo, I got, I got anxiety. You can take some magnesium for a month and you'll be fucking fine for most people. You know what I'm saying? You could just be deficient on magnesium. I don't mean you got anxiety. I'm not saying I'm a fucking psychologist or whatever, but I do believe that like some, Do- we're Dr. getting a little Hughes out of hand. in the building. No, we, people no. are getting out of hand with this shit. Like it's becoming a fad, a yeah, trend. Everybody, yeah, everybody you know what I'm saying? To have something. It's, everyone wants to have letters. Yeah, everybody wants to be like, oh, ADD, or you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm manic. No, I, I understand it's what like, you're don't saying. Don't make this though, shit like, try if, to be cool, nigga. If you yeah, really yeah. do need the help, I, I'm glad that All you are, are comfortable. Right. And we, it's not being as stigmatized and you feel like you can get the help you need. But don't just, like I said, don't trivialize the whole thing because you feel like it's in right now. Right. Because yeah. there's some people that really do need help. Right. That's what I'm feeling it's, like, it's too. it's not funny with, like, you know, people, like I said, if he has a problem, I'm not judging him for it, yeah. but don't just fall back on it or, you know, make it a, you know, some type of circus because it's a serious matter. So. What you think, yeah. Rifa? What do I think? Yeah, what do you think? I think I have anxiety, but I ain't never been to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all got some level of anxiety. You know what I'm saying? But no. I mean, shit, he. And Kanye just need to chill out for real, for real. He just, he definitely, I mean, he's, he definitely, it feels paranoid. like it's, yeah, apparent, but I, I don't know. It just feels like, it does feel like some kind of publicity stunt, like a rollout to some music about to come out or something. I don't know. It's just the way it all goes down. I don't know if they're like it, in cahoots with each other, you know what I mean? Like to keep each other in the spotlight type shit and, and, and to keep uh, Ariana Grande out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> shit, that'd be interesting to them. This this dude said fuck sicko mode. Are you crazy? Then he was like, I like sicko mode, but <laughs> fuck the bars. I was like, all right, bro, it's just weird. Yeah, I did hear another. But you gotta understand though that that makes people that, that haven't heard sicko mode go check out sicko mode. I did hear one uh, more conspiracy yeah, theory though. That's true. They said that uh, stop trying to be gods about Kanye. I said, ooh, that's a hot conspiracy theory right there. That's not a conspiracy theory. That shit was about Kanye. <laughs> hey, you already here. That, listen, I I told my, listen, I had a homeboy of mine tell me that Checks Over Stripes wasn't about uh Nike's about uh, uh Nike's and Adidas. He thought it was just like, yo, man, I think he's talking about getting like more money over 
over, uh, you know, being like a street dude. And it's like, uh, yeah, that's a double entendre, nigga. You know no, what I'm saying? It's too clearly many. too many about about uh, Nike and Adidas as well as getting money versus uh, stripes and stripes. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's a, it's called double meaning. It, yeah, we do that sometimes. Yeah, so yeah, stop trying to be God. Oh yeah, I think that's definitely. You know what I'm saying? Some flakiness to, towards uh, Kanye. Who else? Yeah. This and here, here's one more of, of his wild tweets. This was the next day. You know, after we gone through the night, this was at seven in the morning when he tweeted. He said, "Perhaps we stop looking at my tweets as rants and start looking at them as therapy testimonials in some ministry." Okay, yay. <laughs> okay, you ready to move on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I'm yeezyed out. Yeah. Uh, this th- this is another. This is like I'm not interested in the album. I'm not interested in the Yeah album right I'm now. Right now, right now at, all at this, this moment shit going on. And so Joe Rogan not- offered him a platform too. So if he's serious about it, J- Joe Rogan for Kanye to go to Joe Rogan. Yeah, you didn't see this. No, Cause so because Ye again, and I, I know we said we were done, but I just saw no, this. Joe Rogan gonna get the hot take. He said he Ye <laughs> said he wanted to do a serious interview speaking on mental health. But it seems as though all members of the press are afraid to speak to someone who's been diagnosed, blah, blah, blah. Joe Rogan said, I'd be happy to talk to you about it as long as you like. Hey. Joe, Joe Rogan Joe is scared of a long down. podcast. No, he, he, he's always down <laughs> to talk about everything. Know, this nigga will have a four-hour podcast. He sure will. And just put that bitch on YouTube live stream and don't even care. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just smoke his weed and be like, yeah. So let's talk about space. Yep. <laughs> I just brought on Neil deGrasse Tyson. See? That's some interesting oh, points. Oh, one, yeah. one other thing I meant to tell you about. This is some sort of, I'm, take, I'm on DMT right now. <laughs> some sources and witnesses. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're going to be like, so me and Kanye had shrooms and we're going to have an interview. Oh, man. That this was going to be so awesome. wild. This is going to be so fucking awesome. Oh, shit. Shout out to Joe Rogan. Um, Joe Rogan is the best. According to TMZ, <laughs> Drake uh, up security after this whole thing. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Like, what? I don't know what's going on, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe weird. Drake's open uh, did that because he's like, yo, I don't know what the fuck is going on with Kanye if he's going to hurt me. That's what I'm saying. All this shit's weird, bro. That or maybe he doesn't weird, want the man, same thing real. to happen to him to happen to Joe Button. Crazy fans just trying to run up on you. You remember that with the kids with the rocks? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joe Button didn't fire Joe, memes. Uh, Joe no. Button ain't living where, where Drake is, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah. You know where you know where you go to visit sometimes during the weekends. I don't know what I don't know what I deserve in here. Uh, let's 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 move on. Let's move on to some other some uh some other topics here. Um, <clears throat> we want to talk about Apple coming to Texas. Yeah, man. Um, considering that you you know have so much to say about your boy Tim Cook, get the fuck out. He wanted to get, get closer of to you. No. He wanted to get closer to you. He was set up shop. He was just like, yeah, yo, yo that. He was like, yo, that you. nigga, you. I don't like that shit, dog. He's eating a banana. <laughs> I'm gonna drop a dime on his ass. Oh hell no! Nah. <laughs> Tim Cook, dro- <laughs> yeah, eat a banana. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna drop a dime on them niggas. Oh shit! <laughs> yep, yep. Nah, man. I mean, I know it's going. Listen, Austin. I don't even want to live in Austin, bro. I just nah, want. I just, just want to have property in Austin at this point. Yeah, they yeah, so they're gonna um spend a billion dollars to build a new campus in Austin, and I said create up to twenty thousand more jobs. So um, you moving awesome when they bring that out? Nah, you ain't working for Apple, man. I just got a house and it's like thirty years. I'm signing away. Nah, I ain't mean. moving to Austin unless that's a second property I'm gonna be owning. I'm, I'm, po- I'm posted. Uh, You're not like posted. forever in that house. Well, I know I'm not, but I'm posted for. I think it's, it's a good spot. It's definitely gonna. I'm make not going them, to Austin, man. The it's values crowded. go up, man. Yeah, yeah. Austin and, got- and the outside surrounding cities have been no. continuously growing. I am. Property values going up, cost of living going up. I know people were a little nervous. There were some people who didn't want Amazon to come. They're like, "No, we're good. We don't because it'll cause all that." Well, this now people this get, the, get people get paid off like their land. If they need that land, they'll pay them off and they give them good money when they do that shit. Yeah, you know what they need though. They need. Uh, I don't know if I talked about this on this podcast, but they need like one of those like super fast ass like subway. Trains, transit trains. Please tell the transit please to go no, from no. like Temple to Austin or like some of the surrounding cities. Fuck yeah, that are like I'll make it so out. much less complicated. Oh yeah, and more bro. worthy. Oh, yeah. like more worth going to work out there. Yeah, if you can get that. If you can get from you know. here to Austin in <clears throat> twenty five minutes. Yeah. Oh, that'd be, that'd be player. I'd, I'd work in Austin. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I, would, wants to I could get argue. That I would argue that they make a fast one that should go as far as Waco. Fuck yeah! It could. Oh, damn shit. Well, think about this. What two by two hours? Yeah, just two. If hours, you're yeah. driving. Right. If you want a fast ass train, you cut that down to fifty minutes. Yeah, forty five, fifty minutes. <laughs> Get you right. Yeah. That ain't that bad. Make it happen, Elon. Make no, Elon, it happen. This motherfucker ain't finished no, This motherfucker Elon hasn't completed any of the things that he started. Because he, right. he was smoking with Joe. This nigga started <laughs> smoking weed and it's like, oh, we never gonna get this shit now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that he did, and he, he smoked that weed and then they canceled the Hyperloop. Yeah, for I was real. just like, D- God damn, dog. Yeah, where's that damn Hyperloop? Done. It's gone. Shit. Canceled. This Man. nigga talking about, oh, I might leave the company. I might, I might, I might, I might dissolve the company. What? Nigga, you smoke one blunt. He, he saw something. That must have been a magical blunt. Yo, he's, <laughs> hey, Joe oh Rogan, what the hell happened? What did you put in that sweet like sw- weed, that joint, dog? man? What'd you Shit. do? You gave him fucking no sativa or something, dog? <laughs> They gave him that fucking, gave to him get that, back to work. Give him that PCP joint, joint that that smoky. Tr- He's like, yo, smoke. yo, that shit got DMT in it. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, yo, you smoking peyote right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, peyote. Oh, yeah, that's a good gone. shit. Nah, I'm mad. Oh, I, you just it just dawned on me. He don't finish nothing. Now I'm pissed at him. Yeah, what is he finishing? Okay, remember when they were opium? Remember, Bro, another thing he didn't finish. So everybody got the electric cars, right? Yeah. So this motherfucker was like, oh, you know what? I know people can't go across country. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build these little like battery stations. You know what I'm saying? You can go. We have a fully charged battery for you. Take that. Switch it out with the fully charged one. Put the put the one that you got and, oh, char- charge, and charge that so we get to somebody no, else. No. So that way you can make it. Bro, they shut all them shits down. They started them up and then they shut them down. All right. Then it was Hyperloop, Hyperloop, nothing. Mars, 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 nothing. Nada. Nothing. All right. Civilian space travel, nothing. Your boy. <laughs> Man, it's your boy. I'm pissed. Um, <clears throat> yeah, get your shit together, Elon. For real. Uh, we really boot your ass up out of Tesla. <laughs> uh, what, what else we got, man? Um, <laughs> so. Yo, Maxo Cream is my boy. Yeah, I promise he's my boy. I fucks in Maxo. I put a lot of people on the Maxo. All right. I think I put you on the Maxo. Yeah, you put me on the Maxo. Okay. I p- probably put you on the Maxo, huh? You don't really fuck No, with me. I was actually, I was talking slick all okay, day and right. you got mad at me. All right. Okay, cool. I have to choke slam you. Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. If AW's listening, <laughs> I, know, I know we put AW on to Maxo. Yeah. All right. Uh, Maxo Cream's a, uh, used to rapper. We reviewed, uh, some of his stuff. You know what I'm saying? He puts mm-hmm. out some, Good quality street, uh, Texas music, uh, with kind of a fresh sound, oh, yeah. uh, as you would say. <clears throat> he got caught up, man. He, he, him and his crew got caught up, uh, after shooting a music video. Mm-hmm. I think like 20 people got arrested. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was, um, it was him and, uh, NFL cartel Bo. I'm not really familiar with him as an artist, but, uh, they were shooting it in March. I guess the video dropped in May. And I, like you said, it uh, all hell broke loose. Yeah. Uh, t- 20 arrests, dozens of um, gun charges, legal weapons, alleged gang members. Everybody uh, everybody was toting, toting heat. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and everybody shouldn't have been doing that. It was pretty crazy. Apparently, uh, to date, there's 11 people in custody, nine on the run who got open warrants, and one's actually dead. He got shot outside of, I think it was a club I was reading. So NFL Cartel Bo was one of them too. I was reading, and uh, that uh, he's actually been, he's actually on the run. Yeah, he was bonded out, yeah. um, cut off his ankle monitor, and he in the wind. Yeah, yeah, I read yeah. that. Um, that, that and they did all this from uh, watching the video. Yeah, they so, saw the video. Okay, listen, I'm focusing Maxo. I know that wasn't Maxo's song. Uh, I know that was. You know, his, his people. He's I free. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think he probably was really associated with that where he was getting hit up for it. But, uh, <laughs> we definitely gotta, uh, stop incriminating ourselves, uh, yeah. on these, on these online with these, I know, like, posts, music videos. I mean, all types of shit. Social media, people just incriminate themselves on a day to day. It's like, what are you doing? I know people want to get into the mode of like, they put the guns in the video for like shock value and all that. This shit's not shocking anymore. 
Nah. The first time, the first couple of times back in like 2010, 2011 when it was happening, it was like, damn, look at all them guns. Now you be seeing shit at the front of the video that be like, these are all props. <laughs> these are all prop guns. They're not real. No. Yeah. I think you know what I'm it saying? was more real in the 90s when they did that. You know what I'm saying? When artists were doing that shit on their like underground videos, you know, uncut and shit like that. You know, they, that's when they had like people were that's when it kind of started like hell nwa you know had like video with everyone holding pistols and shit like that Three it was different mafia. though because you know why back back then the rules are different yeah yeah definitely right different. like they were and everybody and all those people they were getting they were getting like like the government was was fucking with ass, nwa yeah. you know yeah, what i'm yeah, saying yeah right like same with like I, I see made a song called Cop, Cop Killer. Killer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It was just different back then because there was no rules. Everybody was just like, "Yo, we're just gonna we're just gonna do us and fuck whoever doesn't like it." That yeah. was there was no rules. There was no guidelines. No of, boundaries you know, and you know, yeah. all that. Shit. Yeah, a lot of people got fucked up from that too. And now we're like smarter. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Well, at least I think we are. You know, supposed <laughs> I, I to be. Hope, I hope we are. Be, man, yeah. man, put that shit out there like that. You don't have to like. I believe yeah. Maxo. Listen, I can listen to Maxo's raps and believe Lyrics Max. And deli- yeah, exactly. You, like there's a, like you you hear people you hear people say certain things and you go, oh yeah, that's that's real, one hundred real. Like I hear Freddie Gibbs and I'm like, oh yeah, that's real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I can hear it in the raps. I don't need you can hear the realness in there. Yeah, the visual uh, in the proof. video. You don't have to have any guns in the video. Nah, to prove anything, we believe you if you're doing it. People okay. have to understand this, you know, this social media thing works worth both ways. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, so we have this. So we just talked about Bobby Schmurder. We've seen the stuff going on with Six Nine. Like the authorities aren't playing around. It's true <laughs> anymore. Like it this. does work. No, but, it also um, works both ways when you when you talk about oh well, all these all these kids do is just troll and shit. It's like yeah, well a lot of the gangster dudes, all they do is just show up, get, incriminate themselves, and get fucking <laughs> and, get, and get hemmed up, for and it, get hemmed like. up for that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's the same shit. Yeah, y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta chill, man. It's, it's I gotta play it smarter. <laughs> it's hard to argue your way out of it when they when they got the evidence right there from you. You know, yeah. <laughs> you gave it to them. They just watch. They just like, oh, gonna watch the video. World Hit star play. exhibit A. Ah. <laughs> yep, he calls himself NFL cartel bow, huh? <laughs> Oh, he's from the north side, huh? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, you're from. Set? No, all right. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Got that. Don't right. think. Oh, you know what? I actually know where that's at. Yeah. Don't think they're not <laughs> in court <laughs> reading these lyrics. <laughs> Did yeah. you not say? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Quote, yeah. unquote. Y'all got to be careful out there, man. Yeah. We have reason to believe that uh, four of your bars have actually been connected to actual murders in the city. <laughs> yeah. Shit. That shit is fucking crazy. It's like, yo, y'all to chill, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all to chill. I remember when DMX wrote a book. In the book, it was like he talked about murders that he committed. Yeah. But he like changed everything so nobody really knows if he was like for real. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fake, you know what I'm saying? That's how you gotta do it. If you're gonna do that, do that. Just, did you see, did y'all, did you see the video floating around of the dude that was getting interviewed by Vlad, uh, from Vlad TV? With the, and it's like, yo, this is how you're supposed to, this is how you're supposed to answer, uh, a Vlad interview. Cause everybody believes Vlad is the feds. Yeah, people have been saying that for a while now. For a long time, right? Because yeah. just the type, way, the questions type of questions he you ask, and you know what I'm saying, all this. Yeah. And when you get to those questions where he asked, because he's going to ask those questions. Mm-hmm. Yo, man, so, yeah, I was watching the video, man. You know, I seen a lot of blue racks. So you've been cripping for a long time, huh? I don't crip. What are you talking about? We like the color blue. It's a cool color. <laughs> That's it. That's how you answer those questions. That's uh, it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't say nothing. <laughs> don't incriminate yourself. Nothing. Yeah. For real. What do you mean blue? They, that wasn't blue. What do you recall. mean blue? It's Sue all recall. day. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't recall. Yeah, I don't. I, that was me in the video. <laughs> that was me. That was what me. video was that? Who said that? That must be <laughs> someone say, else. Who was that? That was me. <laughs> Talk differently. No, nah, that was me. No, nah, that was nah. me. No, nah, you was watching somebody else, player. <laughs> That's it. You know what I'm saying? Just don't say, just don't say that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Talk no, about your music real, and go. You know what what you're there for. Yeah. Talk about your music and go. Cause the feds, all these, all these feds, DEA and all these. Every interview is yeah. being used. Everything is being used. In the Everything. courts of law. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Everything you do, your, we your see what happened with tax though. That shit is being used. Your albums, oh, your man. interviews. There's I'm people still, that's on that's on that YouTube one. right now. That's like that's like piecing together 
Like other rappers and shit they say in their rhymes. There's they piecing media. together. Yeah, what people are tweeting and posting online. Yep. They piece, they piecing the shit together just so the feds don't even have to work that hard to find the shit. Yep. It's other niggas on YouTube piecing it together. You know what I'm saying? So, and yeah. it all together, for real. Yeah, all right. So shout out to Maxwell. That was a good album, though. I fucked with Maxwell. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. Uh, let's, let's move on. We go, we moving on to, uh, the, the, you said the Drake tour? The Pink Panther tour? Yeah, so, so to the trillions, this, this stemmed from a conversation me and you, you were having another day. Yeah, the Pink Panther tour. And we were just trying Not to figure end. out what is the split on the money for a tour with you, something like Drake and the Migos. Yeah. Cause we know, I, we know he's the headliner. We also know, but there's three of them. So we were just curious. And then coincidentally, a story popped up today talking about how much money the tour grossed. Um, so it grossed just shy of $80 million. Um, they Damn. had, let's see, they sold 678,410 tickets over the course of 43 dates. Um, which, you know what? That's actually not, not that much. Um, it says it has them in the, yeah. Running out of the top ten of highest grossing tours in North America this year. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Real talk. You don't think there was more than seven hundred thousand people in America that wanted to see them live? That's that's the lot. There's three hundred million people in America. Yeah, but you have to figure of them how many are actually concert going age. Let's see how these numbers. I'm gonna ask you more numbers million. that are gonna give you some context though. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, Taylor Swift was the number one that. spot. She had one point two on tickets sold. 1.2 million? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. And then uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce, theirs was, let's see, they were second place. They were a, a lower 1.2. So close. 1.2 million. That's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. You don't think there was, and, and well, Migos sold, I'm, Drake I'm and Migos did. I'm not sure about Taylor's tour. I do know for Jay and Beyonce, though, I think they performed in some stadiums. No. So, oh, so you're trying to say Drake and, and Migos didn't get, didn't get the stadiums? No, no, I'm saying I still think the On the Run 2 is a bigger tour. Definitely. Uh, but. Okay, you went to go see mm-hmm. Drake and Migos. Yeah, they were all ar- arenas, you know. Which, where arenas. did you go see them? I was in Houston. Okay, which, uh, which, I guess, arena? Toyota Center, where the Rockets play. Okay. They did, I think they did two or three nights Stadiums there. Stadiums are bigger than arenas? Yeah. Football stadiums hold a whole lot more people than like basketball. How, how, you, how many people in, in a football stadium? On average? Um, I think like sixty-five. 000? I was gonna say like sixty something, and I think basketball is like twenty-five to thirty, mid thirties. Okay. Okay, that's the arena. Yeah. So Drake, 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 and them ain't popping like that. I mean, you're not. No one. Let me say this: nobody is doing more than Beyonce. It ain't happening. And you're gonna do Beyonce and Jay Z. I'm actually surprised yeah. they weren't number one over Taylor Swift. Like if you told me who had the top gross, the top song tour, I would have said on the run. But again, I, I don't. To be fair, I don't keep up with Taylor Swift as much, so I'm not surprised at all that on the run two is up there. <coughs> but um, let's see. <laughs> we also okay. had the, the I didn't. Uh, some of these people I didn't realize were on tour like the Eagles. But again, that's you know you know they're gonna do numbers. They're they're legendary. They were at uh nine. Is this the Hotel California group? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I only know it because um, of y'all. Ed, um, Ed Sheeran. You know you like that Ed song. Sheeran did 1-1. One, one. Journey and Def Leppard did just over a million. Um, let's see. Springsteen on Broadway did some big numbers. Springsteen on Broadway? But there's some OGs Hard out here on tour. Springsteen. Hard pass. Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> Kenny Chesney did some numbers too. But he's a, yeah, he's oh, a Kenny Chesney. Also country hard stuff. pass. Country. That's country music though. <laughs> um, Let's see. Yo, country music is easy as fuck to make. But to I'll answer, make the fuck out of some country music, guys. <laughs> do you bro, to, I cannot. You about to piss off. Yeah, I I'm about to say. I'm about to say that. Like, it's easy for them. Like, okay, bro, you can't make country music. Uh, yeah, I could. <laughs> hey, country music is easy as shit to make, bro. I mean, that's because it's coming from. Give some, me a guitar it's, and just start. You can. That's just coming from anything. people who, yeah, we spit. You know what I'm saying? Well, we, it's we high down in Texas. It's high in my down in Texas. <laughs> See, boom, banger. Banger! That's I'm telling you, that's a hit off top. Yep. In my so Lexus. T- it's, I need some water. That's how that's the vocal range that you need. That's it. Okay. That's it, bro. 
Don't be trying the to vocal like, don't range be, might be one thing, but I'm, I'm not going to... Don't be trying to act like that music. Some water. It's some complex shit to make, I need bro. some water. So he hot, said it's hot, I need some water. Man, it's hot, I need some water. <laughs> That's it, bro. They about to get you. Nigga. <laughs> You said, can't. That's not good. Hey, it, water, hey, but you better get slaughtered. <laughs> they about, they about by to get who? You. By, country singers? By all one. Country singers? All, by all 1,297,731 people that paid to go see Kitty Chester. Get the fuck out of here, dog. They're coming for you. I ain't worried about Kitty Chester. They're coming for your head. To, 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 to answer these. our question, we're yeah. trying to figure out, man, what does the split look like? So apparently, um, of the, the cut that they got, Drake left with 47 million. And the Migos took 24.5 split three ways. Mm. Drake took what? 47. By himself. And the other 24.5 split three ways. So it's like eight million, eight million each. Yeah, it's still a lot of damn money. That's oh, a lot yeah, of it money. still is. It is. It <laughs> is. But think about it compared to the 40 something for one person. Well, I mean, I guess that's the risk you run with your group. I mean, yeah, they prob- that's, they that's probably. How, that's how I mean, works, I mean I'm pretty sure they're all aware of, you know, a split. The split the even half. if it was a 50 50 split you still gotta split the the half three ways yeah yeah so i mean nah, I, it again, it's, it's not a crazy story i just thought it was interesting because we were talking like damn well, i wonder what it is yeah no no, yeah. no, no, we it, no it, it kind of makes sense though but yeah yeah i thought they definitely would have sold more tickets though that's what i was thinking i thought they would have at least had a million people out there that would have came out to see them i'm kidding you know i'm gonna I'm look at i'm gonna try and look it up for next week and see what the capacities on some of the arenas were Oh yeah, I've seen some of those. I was looking at them. Yeah, it's interesting. I, yeah. What What surprised me the most is how many dates they did in certain cities. I was like, this is is nuts. Yeah, they they spend their time in 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 the bigger cities, but there's probably a lot of other markets they just didn't touch, man. A lot of people don't go to certain markets, man, just because there's nothing out there. I don't, you know I'm not, I don't think they stopped in Montana, but hey, yeah, they yeah. stopped. You might have sold out. This place, yeah. South Dakota. This either. places they don't Same. stop. Definitely, yeah. They could have done that South show Dakota. out there in front of Mount Rushmore. Yeah, the show. If Netflix, if on Netflix or, uh, or or title hollers at me, I can show y'all show y'all how to open those markets up. But you know what I'm saying? and Nef- Netflix, y'all been backing up the truck for everybody. Yeah, for so. everybody, on some bullshit too. <laughs> so, you can back up the truck hey. on me. I got you. I open you up to the whole other markets. Untapped sources. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Let's no, let's they move have no on. Idea. We was in boom trap for a long time. Let's let's move on to these elders. <clears throat> I thought I felt we were trapped in boom trap. Right, we were. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> it was like going on there. Got a little worked up. Fucking Kanye. <laughs> I'm saying, damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we were doing all right until that happened. Anyway, so uh, Black Top, Black Tom was talking about the uh, return of the dream. <laughs> your boy, he Radio t- Killer, your boy, Mr. Radio Killer. Okay, no. he dropped off some cover art. You know what he dropped off the cover art for? A new album? A 38 song triple LP titled Menage a Trois is coming. Oh shit. Tri- That's right. 38 songs? 38 triple. songs. It's a triple. It's a, it's a, it's a eight, eight ball. Songs? It's an eight ball lost. It's album. coming on the 21st it's too. It's a triple disc. I don't even think Lo- Lost had that many songs. I didn't have it. Yeah, hey, quite look, a few. This is Damn, wild. I'm going to look at The it. last triple disc that I, I know was Final Fantasy VII. Right, PlayStation 1. <laughs> <laughs> All 38 song, three LPs titled Menage a Trois, Sex Tape, Volume 1, 2, and 3, coming on the 21st. This nigga, this is all the songs that he been wanting to put out for the past like eight years. Uh, yeah, yeah. It ain't this like he hadn't had time to work on <laughs> this it. This is every album that we missed out, and he's like, I'm just going to put them all at once. Right. Uh, are y'all ready for the, y'all, y'all excited for the, for the dream? Ready or excited? I had two different answers. Are you ready? No. Okay. Are you? I thought you were about to say my body is ready. Okay. I was never gonna say that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, they be saying that shit online. Dog. I be seeing that shit. I be like, yeah, I got to chill, with that. Uh, are you excited? A little bit. I you like don't like the dream. The dream? Right, I many, do like the how dream. How many tracks? Bro, that's thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Ava had thirty-eight. Come on, Ava had thirty-eight. Yeah, yeah, thirty-eight on his too. That's a lot. That's, that's all I'm that's saying. A, that's a that's lot. That's a triple disc for you. Yeah, that's triple disc. Oh shit. Went all the way to 38. I thought he would have had like. Nah, because when you said it, I was like, oh, those I was like, it had quite a few. I remember growing through that shit and it took forever to listen to that album. Yeah. Maybe I just need to accept that's where we're at. We're getting the six track EPs or the triple disc LP. Like, gone are the days of the 17 track album. I mean, listen, people, we've been waiting for, for the dream for a while. You waiting for 38 songs? Yeah. 
Bro, you ain't wait for 38 songs. I've been waiting for 38 songs. Bro, that's wild. Bro, have you ever heard, when I fall settle? You know, okay, you know what hurts ooh, me, though? Ooh, right. Baby. Hey, I, right, these youngins. I'm, I'm going to go hard. I'm going to The, the youngins yeah. don't know about the dream. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck these bitch ass little no. niggas. No. I beat the shit out of no, one no, of these no, little no, niggas. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> That's, what, that's how you, I got to say You ain't concerned about teaching the youth? No, fuck the youth. Oh. He, he, what's that, what's, what's that Michael youth. Jordan mean? Fuck them kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, like, listen, the dream, the dream, the dream is dope. He, he had, he had a nice run and he kind of faded. He's working on some shit for Jay Z. I know he's working, working with closely with, with Rock Nation. You know what I'm saying? Probably working on Rihanna music. You know what I mean? Probably. I would be surprised. And uh, look, there's love probably a, that a lot of shit that he came out with that's good shit that just hasn't. That we, you know, we thought was, wasn't gonna come out. You know what I'm saying? But. That fire ass love hate album came out in 07. Oh, that was, that was a classic album. That was a fire that album. Was fucking fire as fuck. Yeah, I, I missed it, man. He had some, he had some great album. No, no, no. He, that was, that was good quality, uh, good quality shit from the drink. So yeah, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for new music. Uh, I'm down with 38 tracks. I'm down with it because I just want to know what the fuck we've been missing out on. I, yeah, I know he's got something in there. I mean, listen, you didn't say shit about T-Pain talking about he gonna drop. 300 oh, yes, fucking I songs. I don't need to hear Everything Must Everything Go. Everything Must Go sale. No. Yeah. No, we're done. Everything Going does not need business. to go. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a vault, okay? Ain't he opened no- the vault vault. Yeah, Ain't nothing it, wrong with being a hoarder. That, that shit was a deep ass vault. That motherfucker. <laughs> what is it? Hey. Oh, you yeah. got a vault vault. <laughs> <laughs> the double. No, I, I don't need that. I don't need keep this shit packed. We don't need the damn storage wars ass mixtape. Fuck yeah, <laughs> keep that shit. We don't need your area fifty one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, oh man, hanger whatever the fuck that shit is. We don't need all that. Yeah, don't oversaturate yourself with old ass songs, bro. Mm-hmm. To the market, just, uh, let him, just let them go. Let him, we, let them disappear. Since we were talking about Migos earlier, I really want to get Reefer's take on this. Lazy Boy came out and said the Migos ain't shit. They need to shut their fucking mouth. The street's been saying the Migos bigger than the Beatles. The Migos been saying they the best rap group. I feel like first they are off, the first off, first off, Lazy Bone said nah. <laughs> so were the streets saying that too about the best rap group? That's what the that's what the streets are saying. Hey, look, because the streets are wrong on that. They fuck, the, listen, the fucking. Kids. It doesn't matter about albums, or sales, and all that. It's quality of music, you know. And you know the kids, they just listen. They they feed into anything these days. It's all about a gimmick. It ain't even about the music. Bone Thugs and Harmony had music quality shit. Three Six Mafia better rap group than Migos, hands down already too. Quality shit. You know, there's you have to have quality behind that shit, not just a gimmick. Where the Migos run with a gimmick. That's what all music runs with these days, a gimmick. But not to say their music is trash. They got good music. And the youth eats it up, but they eat up everything. It ain't about quality anymore. It's about just a gimmick, and the kids just eat up gimmicks. And that's the difference. That's why I, no, they're not. They're not the better, the best rap group ever. No. And you know what? You know they 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 probably are better than the Beatles, though. <laughs> I will say this. Um, I feel like every like generation has to have that like. Like group that title like, holder, yeah, yeah, you know, no, what you I'm they do. So, I, mean, I, I get it, I like, get you that can't too. say of all time, you know what I'm saying? You like, never can, yeah, you but can. like, listen, they're doing this shit right now with Kendrick. Kendrick's the greatest rapper ever, and I'm just like, nigga, have you heard, have you heard Jay Z? Okay, ha, ha, have, have you, you heard Reasonable Doubt? <laughs> you heard a little album called uh, Illmatic, Illmatic, okay? I'm about to say that shit too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little album called Illmatic, yeah, have, have you heard uh, <laughs> Quimini right. from Outcast? All <laughs> oh right, my goodness. shut the fuck up then, all right, yes, for real, all right? So, I, I know that like it's like a you know, like that's just a generational thing, like. Every like couple, every so it's often, dark and hell be, is hot. Oh, come on! Yeah, there's always gonna be like some group that they call the greatest rap group of all time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just that it's Amigos' turn. It's just it's their time right now. There's a hot. But I think when people Man, when the they locks say are that, better when they say that <laughs> they're the greatest rap group of all time is because on. one, this is all they know as far as rap groups. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they don't understand the impact that came before them, right? And they don't. And they. They're, they're so wrapped up in right now they're not even thinking about in the future when there's another rap group that's going to come mm-hmm. on that's going to blow oh, up yeah, that's gonna, the, 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 the kids you know of that day are going to say the same thing about them right, right. Oh, this is the greatest right? so like, when I hear people say the best ever when they're talking about somebody present the only thing that you could uh, uh, like I guess argue 
you argue is that you don't really mean the the best ever. You mean the best for right, right now. now. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's like, all it really it's is. It's like in sports too. Like when you compare Kobe to Jordan or LeBron to Jordan or Kobe. Or whatever. It's like, nah, it's just they're the best of this moment, this generation. Right. You really can't compare people, you there's know, always stats gonna be and skills gonna, and all that stuff. It was a different time. This the competition gonna be another was different. Yeah. yeah. Like, he's, he, now, he, he might be the end all be all, but. He might be. <laughs> He might be just because just he like just, Jay-Z might be, but you know what? be the end all be all because I've I've seen Jay-Z through different eras. You see, and he's you still said, fucking but here. eventually someone it may be after our time, you know, after we we may be dead and not. Who knows? But some someone will always come along that'll definitely be better. I mean with like, time. Kendrick with time. Hasn't been in the like hasn't dealt with enough shit in the game long enough no, he isn't. for me to start calling him the best rapper ever. Yeah. He has to be doing that shit. For like Kendrick, how long has Kendrick been doing it since what, like two thousand? Like when, when did Section Eighty come out? Like what, twenty yeah. eleven? Uh, I think no, I think a little before. I want to say no, it was like twenty eleven. Let me look. It's definitely like 2010, 2011. It hasn't been ten years. He hasn't even been ten years in like that. That's what I'm saying. Not even double digits. Jay Z even okay, yeah, it was eleven. Twenty eleven, right? No. Yeah. So he got what seven years in the game, Wasn't right? Jay-Z's Just like 90s. really doing it and moving, right? Jay Z been in since ninety six, yeah. right? Yeah. Maybe even earlier than that. Maybe I won't even say like 95, 94. He was dropping like singles and stuff, right? Uh, from then. And then you gotta think he had underground music before that probably and just was trying to come up. Right. He was hungry. So, I mean, he'd been doing it probably early 90s. Right, right. So 2000, we'll say 94. 2004 is 10. Another 10, another 10 years. 2014. 14. Uh, 2018. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you're looking at two decades worth of Consistently being at the top or deemed as one of the greats of all. That's a consistent shit that's been, I don't yeah. say, I don't say consistent from him because he kind of grew into that. Yeah, yeah. But like, he's been consistent at this shit for a very long time. Yeah. Kendrick got a long fucking ways to go. The only person that can be even like hold that crown somewhat is Drake. For like almost 10 years, Drake has been up there like boom, boom, the boom, boom, yeah. boom, like all the way to And yeah, even like, that's only <laughs> half the time. And that's even that's only half the time yeah, of what Jay Z Jay Z did. That's so, it's, and that's and that's unheard of. But right. yeah, it's no. only half the time. Right. Mm-hmm. Let's let's be honest. Look, yeah. if Migos say it better than Bone Thug, I have no problem with this. None. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know Reef is gonna throw his mic at me, but you know, no. I'm cool. So you, well, you don't you're like gonna, Bone Thug? You're, you're getting unlit. I don't dislike him, no, but I'm like, no. I got no problem with them saying that. So you you no. get into the Bone Thug era? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Here you, we go. You, you, you know, I just I, look I, on his face right now. He's ready. I that paper, 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 look, paper. I really, I really wish I had I'll a Ouija with me right now. Ouija, are you with me? Moment of moment. Ziggy, 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 got me rolling off that ecstasy. I feel so sick. Hey, man, that's it. They don't know about that shit, bro. I was rolling. <laughs> no, man, what do you know about that? No surrender. <laughs> You don't know about the AK-47 heat heavy? The crazy bone? <sighs> boom, 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 AK-47 AK-47 <laughs> That song was fire, though, bro. It's like, hit him with the AK-47 heat heavy. Yeah. Make a nigga wonder. We wanna get up in him. Hit him. Yeah, no, see, see, <laughs> hey, you was hitting that shit. I can't hit that shit. Hey, I, I, I got Listen, that fast rap. You don't know about that. What, what was it? It was, uh, you don't know about Mo Thugs? Bro, look. <laughs> oh, man. Mo <laughs> Thugs, they had that white boy powder. Yeah, powder, yeah. Damn, they, don't, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know about the air, bro. Powder you know what I'm saying? Listen, look, look, they, got look. Three, they got three, four songs. You know, they got, oh, they got three, wow, four songs. wow, wow, wow. And one of one three, of four songs that you know. Of. And one of them got Biggie, you know, so they cheated. You know. Oh, we didn't, wow. didn't, didn't, didn't mention that one. Yeah. It's Boney Biggie. You should have started Biggie. with that one because Biggie, Biggie, Biggie. Biggie. No, you should add. No, if that's the case, that I should have started off with Thug Love with Tupac, all right? Nah. Yeah. There's a there's another monster here right there. You ever now, heard, Are you the Migos the greatest rap group ever? No, but I'm I'm fine with them. I'm All fine right. with them thinking that because everybody should think that they're the best, but youngsters, the truth is they're not. <laughs> let's get it. Let's, let's get into the, for the culture. <clears throat> we got, we got to talk about some, we got to talk about some, which we should have talked about last episode, but <laughs> we forced to talk about it this week. This your boy right here. Who's my boy? <laughs> oh, come on. Don't play your boy. Jacquees. Okay? This ain't my boy. Your boy. Nigga. He doubled down. 
I'm Double my, this down Reaver boy. Oh, boy. Oh, this Reaver's boy. Nah, you right. It's definitely boy. Reaver boy. You right. This your, you right. This your boy fool. <laughs> Damn that. <laughs> Re- Reaver bigged him up to do what he did. The, the legend Key Sweat. He doubled down in front of Key Sweat. Yeah, he did. He said, "Nah, fam." He said, "You can have that old wash crown." No. Yeah. <laughs> he said, six, What do you say? Sixteen twenty-five is me." Yeah, he said, "Yo, Keith, Keith was like, yo, I'm still out here getting this he bag." Said, the fuck? Yeah, he said, "I'm still getting this bag." And he was like, "Yeah, you getting the bag, but you getting old nigga bags." Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much what he said. <laughs> what he said. I'm out here getting young nigga bags. That's My bag's bigger than yours. <laughs> that's pretty much what for he sixteen said. through twenty-five. I run that shit. Which is crazy. I'm like 16. That's what you're saying. This is he, true. Keith Sweat making grown folks music. He is. But at one point, he was not a grown folk. Uh, like Keith Sweat was always grown folk. <laughs> <laughs> always. It just feels like he was always it's grown like folk he was, because, it does. because of the era that it was. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Back in that age, everybody was just grown, always. <laughs> It was just grown. They were, yeah, always, yeah. Yeah, I was thirteen. I was grown. No, uh, they, was grown. they was never thirteen. They was grown. Never <laughs> Keep sweat. Like he's a legend, but I, I don't feel yes. like. I, but I do. I do kind of feel they coming from. Like you got to. No. Because yeah. you know I mean? <laughs> like I listen. Like I like I heard. I heard like uh like I heard. Um, she should have hit him with that. I mean, you got me twisted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard. What's his face? Um, what's the guy that that raps and sings? Tory Lanez hmm. say that. Uh, <laughs> okay, in 2018, you got to be a lot more specific. Nah, I know. The guy what's that the, raps and sings. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> the guy that raps and sings. Nigga, that's everybody. Um, Isn't that everyone? Yeah, that's Jacques. Um, <laughs> nah, but uh, <laughs> I heard Tory Lanez say that. Uh, you know, he was sick of hearing like the old dudes like. You know, talk shit or whatever. Because let's be real, when this whole King R and B shit came out, there was a lot of old dudes that came out and was like, "Yo, y'all need to shut up, show respect to the whatever." And but it's like, where have y'all? He's right though. Where have y'all been? Y'all haven't dropped no albums. Y'all ain't mm-hmm. did nothing for R and B. R and B fell back. It is you know what back. I'm saying? Like nobody's really doing nothing on a major scale. Like who's who is the King R and B? Like for real, for real. The the funniest, you know, the funniest one I saw online who said it was them. Freddie Gibbs, he well, he is the king of R&B. He yes, he said it on Twitter. He's no, king after this thirty-eight track CD, uh, it's going to be the dream. I think you think the dream nah, is the king of R&B. I'm just kidding. I think the I reason that, that once, no, once this debate okay. came up, it was such a difficult debate was because so like it's not hard, traditional it's hard to pick. R&B just falling back. We have so many hybrids now. Yeah, it's hard. No, to pick. there's there's still a lot of traditional R&B out there. It's just not in the limelight. But I they, think it's Tank it's out there though. Tank's the king of R&B right now. Oh, that your final answer. <laughs> <laughs> the silence. But I mean, you could all. Nah, so he's just the king of that one track right we now. We had people coming out for, of course, <laughs> Key Sweat, Tank, Genuine, Tyrese, R. Kelly, even though he wouldn't get as much support as he would have got back in the day for yeah. reasons we all know why. Yeah, we know. Um, <laughs> when it came to the young guys, you have some people who want to say Trey Songs. Some people want to say Chris some Brown. Some people say Usher. A lot of people said Usher. Some people said Miguel. <laughs> Usher was Usher was definitely a hero. He was, yeah, he was. He was. <laughs> Holding it down for a good long while. For a long ass time. Long, yeah. long time. Fuck. I mean, R. Kelly, listen, R. Kelly ran it, ran it, ran it for a while too. Yeah. For a long ass time. He did. I, you have to, I mean, I'll give him that. I'm talking about Jay Z. R. Kelly did the same thing, but for R&B. He did. For a long ass time. Through generations. <laughs> See, my thing with, with, he was with Jack Weiss, what about like, LSG. <laughs> oh, listen, Le- Levert, Levert, Sweat, Gil. Yeah. Was that who it was? Yeah, it was. Yeah. I don't, th- I don't, I don't think Black Tide know about, about LSG. You don't know about LSG? I don't mm-hmm. think you know about LSG. What? Yeah, yeah, I don't think you know about that. And they all had claim to fame at some point of they held it down in R&B. Yeah, it was, it was a, it was a mashup. It was a, it like, was a super, you know what Gerald Levert is, right? Yeah. Was super no girl. six in the shipping. No, as soon as you said that, I recognize all their names. So I'm Johnny like, Gil. okay. Johnny Gill. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that shit so, kind of fucked with that. That was a super. Try to sing like Gerald Levert. Shit, okay, I'm no the I said, hey, no come, sex, no sex. Yeah, he was singing the fuck out of that shit. How come nobody was talking dude. about Joe? Oh, shit. Did I fuck Listen, with Joe? Okay. <laughs> no, Joe, people fuck Joe, with Joe. Yeah, Joe, I mean, Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe had like a run and then he just kind of like faded. Of course, everybody knows I want to know, right? Yeah. But then he also did the Power theme song, which is... Man, that's a great song. That is a great song. Yeah. I gotta give it to Joe. Yeah. 
Hey, he's Man. a big pun. Yeah. Except when he goes, Punisher. Stun out a player. Punisher. Punisher. <laughs> big Punisher. Punisher. <laughs> Oh, hey, big pun you giving shit. us some range this week. I was just like, I was just when I hear him say that, I was like, I was just like, yo, y'all couldn't get a girl to say that part, you know right? What I'm like, it's just kind of like, it's like, oh, you could, you, you could have left that out. Yeah, you could have left that part out. One of big puns like, yeah, sing that shit, Joe. yeah, I like that. Um, <laughs> this is pun in the terror squad. <laughs> That's a classic. Um, yeah, man. I, I think. Nah, I mean, like, I don't know if Joe really had like a uh, like a you know like. <clears throat> like he has some hits, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. He, didn't, he wasn't there. Who is the king, though? How do y'all feel about people who said Miguel? No, it's too early for Miguel. Nah, yeah, nigga it's not Miguel. He's got like three albums, nigga. Y'all gotta get him the fuck out of here. That's like that's. <laughs> I, I like Miguel. That was but, a strong, resounding. Duh, note. I like Miguel, man. But like, okay, this nigga had a door and it was a great ass song. Okay, so All we right, gotta get him the hell out of here. We gotta get. We definitely got to get Jacquees out of here. Oh, but nigga, oh, that, is nowhere that nigga, near. hey, that I, I've He's already pointed this near. nigga. I've already pointed this nigga to ten buck too. I don't know what y'all talking about. <laughs> I, this this conversation does not include. Uh, listen, he started the conversation, but he ain't in it. No, nope. yeah, you know what I'm saying. I just I'm just not putting him in, in the conversation. Not at all. I know a lot of people like Chris Brown, but he's not the king of R&B. I never really got into Chris Brown shit. I didn't either. <clears throat> I, I know I think like he's did. A, a he had a few tracks that there were just jams or he there were a feature where he was yeah. on someone else's shit that was a good track. But yeah, I was never really into Chris. He's Lasker. he's um whenever I hear his voice, it I never can get him out of the mode of like the teeny bopper. Yeah, being for a real. pop star. Yeah, like yeah. it's like it just his dancing voice. around and shit just was like back when he first came out, it was like for the that for them kids. Right, right. It was yeah. for like the kids and shit, right? Yeah. And so when I hear his voice, I that's like immediately what I still I go vision. to. But I know he's still young too. He's only like what, like twenty six, twenty seven. He's a young ass dude. You know what I'm saying? So because when he came out, I think he was sixteen. <clears throat> yeah, but now he's trying yeah. to rap. So he can rap. I got, no, I'll no, I will say that. he got bars. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll give him that. Man, man's got bars. And he be spitting fast. Yeah, he but that's what I'm saying. So can he be a king of R and B if he's also a rapper? I don't that's that's the king of hybrid. That's not the king of R and B. That's not really hybrid though. He's twenty nine. Yeah, oh, he's twenty nine. Okay, okay. So he's getting he's a little bit older. Jack of all trades. He's somewhat of hybrid. Well, hybrid. Okay. Well, somebody that can sing like that and then rap like that. When I think of hybrid, I think of people that I don't you can't tell. <laughs> you know, you can't tell if they're rapping or singing. Oh shit! That's what I think of when I think of hybrid. So it's like, like Tory Lanez. Like, like they're talking. Yeah, like Tory Lanez or it's Drake. Like they're talking, but it's like melodic. Right, and I, I will see, say I this. I feel like the king of the hybrid is uh, the, is 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 R. Kelly. I feel like he started that rapper singing. Uh, shit. Yeah. He kind of did actually. Yeah, I'm thinking like yeah. at first I'm like, first R&B thug. I was like, hmm. yeah, he was R&B thug. He was. Yeah, he started that shit. He didn't give a fuck. Yeah, and then T Pain <laughs> did it too. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And now you're, I mean, you're artists that aren't using auto two and fewer far between. So yeah, for real. R and B now though, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. But you know what though? <clears throat> I will say this. I do like the conversation happening in R and B right now. I do like there's, I do like that people are coming out and there's like arguments and fights. And I'm talking about between the celebs. Like, nah, he ain't got shit on me. I, I like to hear that because now it, it to me, starts the mountain coming out. What you say? What now? We might get some new albums coming out to prove it. Oh, we gonna, oh, we gonna have a fire twenty nineteen. All this shit, all this shit, everybody talking. Yeah. It's getting everybody like, oh, better than me. See, that's how rap, that's how rap used to be. Yeah, that's right? how battle and rap and just like just the 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 almost the brotherly or the sibling rivalry number, right, like the right. sibling rivalry type shit. That's how you get it out where motherfuckers are gonna show out. They're gonna be like, well, I gotta elevate because they elevate. You know? Exactly. And you know that they make for better music, and it's yep. going to do that for R and B. I, I hope so. I hope so because yeah, R and B hit like we like we're saying has like, fallen off in the in, in in the last years, like quite a few years. It's just it hasn't not been the same at all. And now, if we can get some actual good R and B back, you know, shit that we had in the nineties, early two thousands. I don't, you know, I don't know if it's going. I don't know if it's ever going to be like that. Yeah, we need to get some. But like that there's back. some good shit that's out there right now. We got, yeah, we got artists y'all, that y'all have that, whole Ari Lennox, that type of feel. Uh, uh, she's like, uh, she's talking about uh, what's the, what's the 
uh, it's like it's like Thirty Shades of of Choke or some shit like that. Have you have you heard this song? Not at all. It's a, she's singing about like getting choked. All mm-hmm. right, like she's like into telling that. the dude. Yeah, she's like into that. She's telling the dude to grab her, grab her by her throat and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which I really liked it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I feel like she's, you know, she has like some songs that are kind of a little more like fresh and just yeah. some of the concepts. You know, because you hear a lot of R and B songs and you know you get a little old like after a while. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like the concepts. Just, yeah. It's love, sex. Yeah, love, sex. That's love, about sex. it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> repeat. Yeah, yeah. It's just wash and re- rinse and repeat, right? But uh grinding. <laughs> <laughs> Every so often you get like a real last R and B song. Do y'all like uh, like genuine same OG? Yeah. yeah. The only time I drink Look. a forty is when I wanna I drink, drink a forty. A <laughs> real last song. Hey, so you so you ready for that that genuine album? Is what you telling me? I'll I take a genuine album. See what he can genuine what he put got. out an album in 2019. Nah, right now, nah. <laughs> but that, but that 100% I listen to it, but he probably couldn't do it. Front to back. Oh, let me ask. Okay, 100 no, percent front to back. That album, that album jam. When the last time Fuck we yeah. had an album, somebody singing, and we can say that front to back. Fuck. Genuine 100. <laughs> percent because I know, back. I know we talk about the major, you know, majority hip hop on the show, but we obviously we do listen to other stuff too. But I'm thinking, damn, it's been a minute since I had an album. SZA had a good album. She did. She did. It, she did. I there was a couple though that I could have done without on there. Man, hey, do, do y'all? I meant to ask, do y'all fuck with Daniel Caesar? Y'all like him? I, I've heard some songs. I haven't really delved too deep into Daniel Caesar, but he, I, I like some of his shit though. I like I like what he's doing. I, I like, like his project. I start. I've been getting. I'm beginning a little bit more to, back into my R&B. You know what I'm saying? I did. I had already listened to Mariah Carey's. She had some good songs on her on her shit. She did. Uh, um, the chick I sent y'all in the in the group in the group uh, mm-hmm. chat. Uh, she signed a Rock Nation. That was the first time I had heard her song when I sent it to y'all. I like I liked her. I went to go listen to her EP too. I had like four songs. She's pretty decent too. She has a okay. strong voice. There's some, there's some, I mean, I, you know who else I like? I like Tayana Taylor. Okay, she can see, yeah, she's yeah. singing. She, she's, um, her, like, for, like her seven album, fire. I don't even know what the fuck. Well, that's, she, that's a good project. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck she didn't, she didn't, she's not Beyonce right now. You know, someone else that I saw, I'm serious, bro, I, saw I don't understand the shit. was, uh, <laughs> The Weeknd, and I wouldn't call him an R&B. No. I just, I just don't. <clears throat> I don't know what I, I don't know where I would put him. But it's not it's like R&B. that pop rap shit. I mean, pop singing shit. Yeah. And like, pop I, R&B shit. You know like, I, I just, I don't know. Pop and B. Yeah. Pop, pop and B is what it is. Shit. It's getting harder and harder to classify people, honestly. Yeah, which it's, is, like, it's fine, but. You know. I know R&B has a sound, though, bro. Like, it does. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a distinct sound. And, and the reason, and you, you'll you know it when you hear it because you don't actually hear it that often. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you hear these niggas, they be singing and shit. But it, it's they singing, but they not really doing R&B. Nah. You'll know it, like. Like you, her you, focus, you that's will, an R and B song. You will feel it. Yeah, you'll feel it. You'll be like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. This shit is smooth. Feel it in your bones. Yeah. Deep in your yeah. soul. Yeah, you gotta play that around with girls. You gotta you gotta have a have a good R and B selection for for the women in your life. Hey, the dream about to get thirty eight tracks, okay? I think I'm Yo, be, dream I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna be set. Dream he looking you. out for y'all. He, we're, we're gonna be set for a while. Like, I yes. wonder what this shit gonna sound like, cause he kinda came in when it was like kinda auto tune era, you know what I'm saying? I really want to know what this shit gonna sound like, so you know. So that's out to this whole talk about the King R and B. I'm happy. Yeah, hopefully there's I'm more really conversation out there about it. People make like strong. strong I, I just want people to take dust the, dust the boards off and like Fuck yeah. get back to the real shit. You Bring know what it I'm back. You know, you know when uh when, when I think Diddy would say something. He was like, "You gotta know how to sing the panties off off of these chicks." That's a yeah. good way to put it. You know what I'm saying? No. It, yeah, like Tank sings the panties off of you. I, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it's a it's a, You'll know when you when you hear it. Hey man, there's a couple early uh John Legend tracks that <laughs> these to go hard. No, listen. Off that first album? Yo, this the first and second the first album was dope, but that second album was that second album was dope. The first album was better. That's the one that had Say Roof for My Love, right? Which one's the one that's just his his head like a silhouette of his head on it? Is that the first or the first one? I think that's the first one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> John Legend is dope too. Yeah, I, I fuck with John. Lee. John's the man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we're gonna talk about this Kodak and Ebro, man. I want to know what uh, Reefus take his on uh 
and Kodak and Ebro and uh Man <clears throat> Ebro pressing the issue. Pressing the issue with uh with Kodak, with Kodak. of his sexual assault case and was it one <laughs> I see I, I don't know, I I see why he did it just cause yeah, views, you know, it's gonna be viral. But yeah, you gotta he did it. It's hard to say. It's hard to say the way I was gonna say because of the whole situation. What he's talking about, but when you're doing that, when you're doing interviews and they have the whole, you know, you can't ask this, you can't ask that. You know, if you're still gonna step over that line, you have to do it tastefully. You know, but he did not. He 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 did it. He did it maliciously more. You know, and that's that's not how you conduct an interview, regardless of it being your place and don't tell me how, what I can and can't talk in my interview. You know, this is my place. You know, this is my job. You know, I get that. But at the same time, that's why he got up and left. He's like, well, then we're done. And he's like, well, bye then. He's like, tell me how to do it. Well, he's leaving still. You know, you lost your interview at the end of the day. You know, you got a spot f- for nothing now, you know, that you just lost. And you could have filled up with someone else and actually had a whole interview, a whole conversation, a whole good you know, everything, you know, good podcast, whatever. It'd been good, but now you have drama, you know, you have something that went viral, but now you also have the backlash <laughs> because it's going to go both ways. You know, there's going to be people supporting you for doing it. There's going to be people that think it was very unprofessional and you, sh- you shouldn't have done it that way. You know, and it's, it definitely it's, both ways. Yeah, it goes both. I mean, it's a slippery slope. It really is. Cause I mean, why are you gonna ha- are you gonna have morals and then, yeah, like not have morals? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, how are you gonna be like, oh, yo, man, t- sexual assault, man? It's just, you know how we feel about that. Yeah, we don't we take don't, too kindly for that. To that. We don't take too kindly to sexual assault, but why don't you come on here and talk? <laughs> you know talk, what I'm saying? Why don't you come on and talk about it? <laughs> Here's here's my my issue with the fuck out of here nigga. with that with that yeah. approach, I, and this this may be a spicy hot take for some, hmm. depending on which stations you prefer. But I I was telling you you that I thought that that uh you know that that crew over there at that station tried to go for a Breakfast Club approach yeah. and it it backfired. They tried the formula and it didn't work. Okay and. I think it's interesting that uh, there's people have been talking about this in the industry. A lot of people, you know, they call an Ebro to feds and, you know, just saying they don't like how he's answering questions or reading the statements from police. Like, why is that going to him? There's a lot of different things they were questioning. So I think that's one thing that played a role in this. But the other thing and what kind of rubbed me the wrong way about what Ebro did was there was, there was a lot of, you saw a lot of uh, people discussing this online, just talking about how, they had an issue with people coming to Kodak's defense because they're saying, no, y'all are, are justifying and defending sexual assault mm. and these things, <clears throat> which is, is not, not what we're doing. And I, and I can, I see where they're coming from. And you're right. That's a valid and good point. My issue was it didn't seem like Ebro embraced that mm-hmm. until he saw how it was all playing out. Right. Yeah, and yeah, I right. feel like once he saw like, Hey, I have, I have this support right now. If I go to this lane. And I thought that was kind of whack. Like, I yeah. don't if that if that's the real reason why you challenged him, okay, I respect that. That's what I'm saying. I absolutely respect that, but I don't think that was his intention. No. And I don't think that's what he actually did until he saw like, hey, I'm kind of getting torn up out there, but I do have this support. Right. Yeah. And, I don't th- think- and that was my issue with, with his uh, whole handling of that situation. I just mm-hmm. want everybody to be clear, man. Like, I don't have any problem, like me personally. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any problem. Because I know I was talking some shit about Ebro on Twitter. Uh, I don't have any problem with Ebro asking this motherfucker the question. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, press him. Do whatever you're going to do, right? My issue is, <clears throat> like, don't act like you weren't trying to make a, a viral moment and make some yeah. money and get some and get some buzz going, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're there because you're, you're, you're uh, all about, like, 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 like you, like you care about you know sexual assault and why you know it's shitty or whatever. Me, I wouldn't even had, I wouldn't even had his ass on. 
So that's how you feel about it, exactly. Right. Like, that's how you feel about you, it, then I ain't giving him no shine. Right. If you felt like that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, about him or whatever, don't even bring him on your platform. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, you could have somebody else on there mm-hmm. that uh, is more important or whatever that maybe could offer more know, substance to more your substance show. More substance to your show, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But <clears throat> let's say you are going to bring him on because my whole thing is now, now you know you can't talk about it. You know he ain't going to talk about it. So you're going to bring him on. All right. So you're going to press him, mm-hmm. all right? <clears throat> but, like, you're pressing him because you're trying to get a viral moment. That's all it is. You're trying to get a... You, let's just be real, y'all. He's just trying to... They were just trying to get a... A, 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 a breakfast club a breakfast moment. Club moment. Yeah. It just, it just didn't work out. Try to be Charlemagne. You're trying to get a bird man. <laughs> yeah, trying, yeah. You're trying to have one of the moments. Yeah, you were trying to get a... Uh, a um, What's the shit that be saying with Berman? Uh, put, put some respect put on some, my name. Put some respect mm-hmm. on my name. Didn't work out. <laughs> I'm saying. I mean, because look at the follow when they tried to kind of switch lanes real quick and ask him about the space thing. And he's like, no. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, fuck out of here with that shit. That's one thing. Like, I felt if he really felt that, that way. That was a trash ass question for that time period. If you really fuck felt this yeah. way, you wouldn't have wanted to give him the platform in the first place. And I, I just, I just do not like that he did that. And then afterwards, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, you know, it's like, no, dude, don't, don't, you know, oh, you know, I think he has a daughter. He's like, yeah, someone has a daughter. And I'm like, no, you did not. Ha- this is not the energy you had when this first That's what I'm happened. Saying. Yeah. And it's like, no, man, I don't respect that. You, you backpedaling now, trying to, 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 to get on there and ride that wave, and that was not your intention. Right. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you said it backfired. They, I think they tried to have their moment, and it didn't work. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure the, uh, Ebro has been around long enough to, uh, know how to, uh, finesse, <laughs> oh, yeah. finesse an interview. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, you never just come with the, with the shits. Even if you felt that way or whatever, you was like, yo, I'm gonna get this out of this nigga today. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make this nigga look like a damn fool. Let's just say that was your shit. You, that was, you failed miserably, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not like, you had a no successful run. <laughs> finesse skills at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you probably could have pulled more out of it. Just finesse a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You didn't know how to do that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know who be watching High 97, to be honest. I know it's probably more people that watch our podcast, but fuck all y'all. <laughs> and fuck High 97. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cosign. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, <laughs> you, you said you ain't pressing them. He ain't walking out of no interview. Yeah, bro. You for, listen. Let me say something, bro. I, you ain't finna, you, I know. He, I know. I know. Kodak is like in like he's got like a case and all that, so yeah. he can't walk. Just like he said, hey, I I think he was on Bre- uh, Breakfast Club and he said, yo, I already know that if I did or said whatever, I'm just gonna be fucking up my my money, right? Which I respect, okay? I ain't got no money, nigga, okay? Yeah. Not <laughs> so getting you nothing. Tell me, you tell me, oh, well, you ain't gonna tell me what I'm gonna talk about on, your, on, on my platform. Uh, excuse me, nigga, you invited me up here. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we're gonna talk about what the fuck I wanna Let's talk, talk about, about, nigga. Straight up. You know what I'm, I'm saying? The, I'm the guest. I'm gonna fuck who platform this is. <laughs> Shit. Hey, it's, it's, it's your show, it's my episode. Yeah. My episode, <laughs> straight up. Straight hey, hey, up. You yeah, ever see? <laughs> You ever see? You ever see that motherfucker go Judge Judy? That was like, oh yes, when you said uh, Oh my god, that shit was lit, including yeah. your daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit? yeah, I see that shit. He yeah, just what? showed that to me the other day. I was yeah. dying. That yeah, shit said, hilarious. Yeah, this might be your show, but this is my, my episode. episode. Yeah, it's the realest shit ever, dog. Straight up, that's how I would treat. That's how I would treat. Ninety seven. <laughs> I can't front. Yo, it's your show, but this is my episode. But yeah, man, <laughs> Let's get uh, that straight. Shout out to the Breakfast Club for having another one in back. Listen, Breakfast Club. People be talking about they like they falling off or whatever. They just keep on they keep on like it's every so often now. It's not as much. And I think it's because they've hit everybody. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They've interviewed everybody probably twice now. You know By what I'm now, saying? Yeah. Except for we, we made a list the other day of the couple they've not interviewed: Barack Obama, well, any of the Obamas, Beyonce, Beyonce, Oprah, Eminem, Eminem, Oprah, Oprah Drake. Drake. And I think we have one more. Drake will be, that shit would do numbers if it was an interview with Drake. Fuck yeah, it would. Uh, they, they thought 6ix9ine did numbers. That one would be the nah, biggest would, ever. I think Drake would probably blow do it. It'd be the biggest the ever. Yeah, be it the would. At least four or five million. Uh, that's pretty much it. They've interviewed everybody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that's, that's the reason why people feel like, like, <laughs> uh, like Breakfast Club is falling off because they've, they've hit every corner because, of the, yeah, of easy. the culture. Plus, outside of that bitch. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they didn't read people that... They, didn't they read were interviewing that presidential candidates. 
Yeah. That's crazy. That's for, uh, you know, an, an, what they call an urban sh- Morty show. Right. Like, that's actually a big deal. Yeah, that yeah. is a big deal. It's next yeah. level. Yeah. That's not the uh, Breakfast Club. Uh, what else we got? What else we got, man? Um, um, this next one, I'll touch on it real quick. Is, is that is Damn. that Vlad TV? Damn. My whole, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Our whole thing, this, the whole board done fell over on me. Um, this uh, was uh this 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 was your final boy. destination just happened. <laughs> this was this was your this is your KGB baby bizoy. No, nah, this ain't this ain't this Vladimir ain't my Putin. Um, I, I think P- he's, he's kind of some respect on us. He's, he's kind of hating on the rap game right now, and um, that's that's as spicy as I'm gonna get talking about him because hey, I don't want these. Oh, you want to catch a drone strike? I do not. <laughs> but um, so apparently he was speaking at um some type of meeting for. Culture and art. Um, and I guess he wants them to kind of step in, maybe kind of monitor this a little more, maybe what censor it? this a little more. It was in Russia, right? It, <laughs> yes, in okay, Russia. Okay, very good. Um, he has very strong ideals about this. There was a quote saying, rap and other modern forms of art are rested upon three pillars, sex, drugs, and protest. <laughs> oh, yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm most worried about drugs. This is this way is towards the degrada- <laughs> degradation of the nation. Fuck him. Sex, drugs, and protest? Yes. Wait a minute. So we're, Let's be honest. Drugs is not your music. biggest concern. It's yeah. the protest. Wait a minute. 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 Like rock and roll was like it not like other oh. genres of music oh, doesn't do that. This isn't the first time that yeah they've they've already done that <laughs> with other genres same. like punk. This punk uh, music group that they had. Uh, what was uh uh oh, what was it called in Russia? Yeah, it was like Mother Russia. No, the the, the group the group had a. Uh, Oh, and they like it was pussy something. I forgot what it was. It was a crazy name, and then they said that they were shit. And they said that they were very, uh, uh, like I guess like anti, like not anti, but just uh, disrespecting religious and religion and shit like that. So they're just they didn't like them, so they shut their shit down also, and like had people arrested. Russia did, shit. yeah, yeah. Can't do this shit. <laughs> shut. They're, 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 they're trying. What they're trying to do is he said it was like we know we can't. End, end it. You know what I'm saying, and like ban it. Like, but we, but we, what we can do is control it and lead it in the right direction, bro. Just I'm imagine, like, imagine Trump doing that do with that rap here? here. Shit, come that'd on, be the final, be World War Three, final straw. Yeah, that would, he said that'd be the final straw. No, oh, yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that'd be it. Yeah, that'd what be you, it. What it's you over. Mean by that? It's, it's, <laughs> Let me tread carefully. All right, I'm just saying. All right, tread what, I, what I meant was, <laughs> motherfuckers, motherfuckers what is I meant was, KGB, what CIA. I, what I meant was, if he were to do something like that, that would be one of the straws that broke the Campbell's back as far as people being upset about the actions of an individual. <laughs> Nobody was in any way threatening anyone. Oh, Black Tide is wild. <laughs> Nobody was Hot threatening tank. anybody. Yo, I'm just saying. Yo, people would be upset. He basically says you'll catch the hands. That's not what I said. You'll catch the hands. Not hands. at all. I would Don. never. I, um, Don. <laughs> I would never say something. Yo, like this that. is this is. Listen, we gotta get off these. We gotta get off these. All hey, right. these hey, these niggas is both ruthless. All right. Um, I gotta, let's, I, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, I just thought it'd be something that was interesting to bring up. And it was saying how this wasn't the first time someone tried to crack down on hip hop. Uh, oh, it's never, it's China, never the first got time. This Vladimir Putin hey, look, topic, nigga, like, China, yo. He said, I'm China done talked with this. about putting a ban on hip hop earlier this year. About Putin the ban? And the, the, ban the UK tried to crack down on drill music over the summer. The UK tried to crack down on Wait, what? Uh-huh. Yo, what, what is going on? Hey, dog? Look, Don't China, China him, tried to ban it. I'm telling y'all. Yo, I it all zoomed in. <laughs> yeah. there, I'm just, I'm just reading some news to y'all, man. Um, it's, it's definitely worth checking out, Mo. It's, it's, pre- it's pretty interesting, you know. Um, rap culture, hip hop culture has become pop culture, and that's you know spread internationally. So, oh, yeah. international culture. It's, it's a, an interesting thought, you know. With this, but, if you remember way back in our what, like '90s, they t- tried to crack down. U.S. government tried to crack down on this. Having NWA easy at the easy at the White House. <laughs> Because they hate us, because they ain't us. Parental advisory <laughs> stickers getting put on stuff. That's because Uncle Luke, I believe, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was. It was yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Luke yeah. So we've seen this before. <laughs> hey, I want some buzz. Scorn, hydraulics. I couldn't believe this man was on stage singing that shit. Yeah, 
it was hilarious <laughs> to think of like some some just some stiff ass UK politicians to even talk about drill music. Right. <laughs> For real. <laughs> you find like how this? they was talking about uh, when they were talking to that guy from uh, from Google. Yeah. And it was like, what about this? They said, yo, we don't make those phones, G. We're Google. That we Google don't make CEO iPhones. wanted to be like, are you fucking kidding me? Yo, did you just pull out a fucking iPhone, nigga? <laughs> we don't make them shits. <laughs> we're, not so, the, we're not the guy to talk to. You might want to talk to uh, Tim Cook. He was so frustrated. Asshole. Said, so you're telling me if this phone can't tell this? He was like, no. Uh, this phone doesn't track you. Huh? Google can't track you on this? And he's like, hate to break it to you, Chief, but we don't make those phones. <laughs> Apple does. <laughs> he was so frustrated. Yeah, man. These fucking old dudes out here, they need to sit the fuck now. <clears throat> you need to understand what they're going to say before they say it. Right. Uh, Black Tie's got some artistic ignorance for, him, uh, for us from uh, Pusha T. Yes, he does. Yes, Pusha T King and Push. 1800 Tequila. They have an uh, 1800 Seconds project. Um, thought it was something that's kind of cool. So they are, they linked up to shine a spotlight on 10 emerging artists, giving each of the 10 artists roughly 180 seconds. Cool idea. Yeah. Um, you had, uh, Ant White from Philly, Cartel Count from Hampton, Virginia, Don Zio P from Connecticut. Okay. Hasser from Harlem, from Harlem, uh, Mona Lisa. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that from Detroit. Nita Jones, Houston, Sam Austin's Detroit, T Guy Bank, Brooklyn, Trevor Lanier from North Carolina, and Tyler Thomas from LA. Uh, so I thought that was a pretty a pretty bit dope idea. Too, yeah. Spread out. Yeah, the uh the um eighteen hundred, that's the uh tequila. 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 Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all that's drink good. tequila? Good yeah, yeah. I'm Mexican, bro. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I go, okay, that's just like me. They they got, uh, hey, my nigga, you drink cognac? Oh, hell yeah, nigga, I'm, I'm black. Oh, I, I like, I like, I, I, I'm a cognac drinker too, you know what I'm saying? I actually prefer cognac over the tequila still. Honestly. Oh, for real? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, man. They got the freestyles online if anybody wants to listen. But, you know, where can was, we go? Where can we listen to those? Um, I was on Hot New when I was reading that article. Oh, okay. And it okay. had them all listed. I think they're on SoundCloud because it looked like it was an embedded SoundCloud thing with them all on there. So I just read that Pusha hmm. T, uh, found another artist. I was reading that earlier today. Um, so, I think I'm so who did he find this time? I don't know, man. I hope it ain't like designer. Yeah, for real. Because <laughs> no I just heard a new song from no uh, Belay, and I wasn't. I wasn't. Well, I'm feeling it. Well, it's not that it's bad, but it's just it's just not as it's just not hidden for me, man. Like some people say, they like Belay, and I'm like, all right. Well, you heard one song, you heard them all. You know what I'm saying? That's how it feels. Yeah, yeah. but I do like the walked in shell, blazed oh, up a nice. L. I love yeah. that song. Yeah, that's a hard too. Um, shout out to uh, Valet for that. Got a come, come got a lot to live up to on that, or got to work to get higher than that one. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, shout out to Pushy T. Uh, we only got one more. <laughs> we only got one more. We got we got a new uh, a new um <laughs> new new uh, segment. New segment. New segment. It is called Screens Fouling. Screens Fouling. We could add a down so, after that. Screens Fouling down. <laughs> Uh, we got some, we got some news with, uh, uh, Sony. What were you saying? What, what was going on with, uh, I was saying that, um, uh, so as you know, we love talking about, uh, Marvel on the show, but, um, DC Sony producer, <laughs> Amy Pascal wants Spider-Man to stay in the MCU. So as you know, that's when smart. different people own the rights to these different characters, that's why they're not always all in the same movie together. Cause they yeah. can't be. But um, well, I think is she are they, is she, she going to make some? Are they going to make some money? I'm sure they that's will make is, some that's money. That's what, it, is. That's what, like, <laughs> that's what it was. It was like, no, you can't have Spider Man. Then it was like, just let us have him for one movie. And it was like, ah, well, you got to pay us. And it's like, all right, well, we'll pay you a percentage. And they're like, all right, deal. They got that fucking bag. <laughs> when that first one, it was like, take them as long as you need them. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and, we, and these this deals bag don't is last bigger forever. than what we got from the one with Andrew Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny was I was reading this and it was saying how back in the 90s, Marvel was licensing out characters, you know, oh, making just... up for comic sales. Yep. X-Men sold to Fox. Spider-Man went to Sony mm-hmm. and nobody wanted the Avengers. Nobody, nobody wanted Because they were second <laughs> tier. They were they're second, second tier. Second tier heroes. Heroes. Turned. Bro, listen. That's what people well, nobody, don't realize. Well, X-Men for... was where it was right, at. Right, X-Men and Spider-Man was where it was at. Yeah. And then even Fantastic, and Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four as well, too. Right, though. so... Uh, what, uh, nobody checking for Thor? 
Nobody was checking for fucking Thor, bro. Nobody was checking for Cap. You know what I'm saying? No one was checking for Black Widow or for Hawkeye. I knew Captain America, but I was just like, oh, nigga nigga with the shield. You know what I'm saying? The dude looked like the flag. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh. (laughs) He said, dude looked like the flag. (laughs) Wings are in your eyes. Like, yeah, he wore that fitted whack proper. ass helmet. Yeah, name was fitted proper because it was Captain America. He you loved know, the flag. I was like, yeah, this guy's. Yeah. He's definitely a soldier. I like what they did with him in the movies. I can't front. Like, okay, yeah, they I made like they, they they made they made a Captain America a way better character than I had ever known through of comics. Captain America through comics, through yeah. cartoons, cartoons and all that. Yeah. Through Old, Animation. they have old movies. Yeah, they do from like the what sixties or seventies. Thor got mm-hmm. old movies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have. Thor got no newer swag. movies that are also like eh, Cap yeah. had no swag. Yeah, he never had swag. Back then. Yeah. No, he had none. So they they done a good job. But yeah, it's uh, we'll see where it goes. But it's interesting, you know. I'm glad. Hopefully, hungry. they'll be able to work this out. We'll, be able to well they're gonna have to because if, if if Disney buys Fox and it's all a, the Marvel characters at Marvel and the only one that's not there is Spider Man, fucking Spider Man. Yeah, oh right. yeah, they're gonna. Wouldn't fuck that up. be terrible? That would be, be so terrible. And horrible. it looks like they struck gold with this newest guy that they've cast as Spider Man. So yeah, they're gonna find a way. Yeah, and he's young too. Yeah, yeah, Tom yeah he Holland. can do this for yeah, a while. Tom Holland, yeah, he, he can do he can do this until he until he. He starts doing drugs, but uh, what else? We, what else? We, <laughs> you know it's coming. You know it's coming. You know <laughs> why you put that on that kid? You man? know it's you know it's coming. The old, the old the caught old. with the cocaine and the prostitute. It's coming. <laughs> the old cop. <laughs> Uh, cocaine in the pro- I will say this. I will say yeah, this. Yeah. You know hey, what's about, coming. Hey, you hit you with the Robert Downey Jr.? Damn. I believe it was t- I believe it was Yo, him. These kids don't know the real Robert Downey Jr. No, right? they, they sure don't. don't. They think he's been Robert Iron Man all this time. No. Is that his this Iron Man? Oh, he's a this hero. dude was on his yeah. last leg <laughs> when they cast him for yeah. Iron Man. If, he, if this failed, he was out of the game. Yeah, he was out of the fucking game. This $100 million rehab that they yes, were giving him. Exactly. Y'all don't understand. He was out here. Yeah, he was. He was. Uh, he was already shut out. <laughs> he's basically. He's basically two chains when he was still titty boy. Yeah, yeah. he he yeah. was man on his way out. On his way the fuck out and reinvented himself <laughs> they, as they Iron think, Man. They think Tony Stark's an asshole. No, no, yeah. nah, no, no. Y'all need Robert Downey know. Jr. That's a whole man. other story. I'm so, I'm so surprised saved when his I life. see him today. Marvel saved his life. I'm like, yo, he really did that shit. Yeah. Every time I see him, I'm like, yo, he turned that shit around. People this, don't realize this, that in his crazy days, he was actually with Marissa Tomei. Look, this, in some of his crazy days. Oh, yeah. This was the and ultimate now he gets rebrand. To, he gets to re, uh, rerun that shit as with, <laughs> with Aunt May. That's the why, ultimate yo, know, right? rebrand. Yeah. Yeah, ultimate rebrand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That's what I'm saying. Listen, Tom, I don't wish that on him. Tom Holland, <laughs> you I don't wish. That, oh, I, don't I wish. That. You remember when he accidentally opened saying, that? Uh, like I feel like it's coming. You remember yeah. when he accidentally opened that Avenger stuff Hopefully on his live? He to listen. He did. He said, "Don't show anybody." He's like, "Oh, yeah. oh." Yeah. He's he's actually been uh, caught on. Uh, I actually watched a couple of uh, videos on YouTube of him spilling Avengers series on mistake. He's got about a good six or seven reveals. Yeah. So yeah, that's what he had to give up on yeah. like, movies. He's doing like interviews and he starts like talking about some spills, shit. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Bad, I've seen yeah. so. Yeah. I've seen where the other characters get mad. Like, what are you, that's what what are you doing? When, you, when you're on Molly. Just start. <laughs> oh, shit. On Molly. Tom, Tom he just going to force Molly. it on this dude. Tom Holland's, Tom Holland's on Molly. I don't care. He's mollied up. <laughs> <laughs> Tom this, Holland this, is out here with these prostitutes on Molly. Trust me. Why? It just got trust worse. Just you did. can't just be. Trust you can't me. be. You can't be Spider Man and not and and then not and be single and not go to and not mess the prostitutes on Molly. <laughs> with all that, what does it happen? <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Look, man, mentor, mentors. Mentor, yeah, he, Tom I mean, Holland is Iron 22 Man mentoring years old. Spider Man. Isn't that how it's he's, working? He's out, how old? Twenty two, bro. Twenty two. You mean to tell me he's not gonna get caught with cocaine? Just, At least once. Just got his wisdom teeth removed. After, <laughs> listen, mark my words. After the Avengers comes out, I hope he don't get strung out and thinks he's really Spider Man. And they get ready to put out Spider Man, the next Spider Man movie. Right before that next Spider Man movie comes out, he's gonna get caught with cocaine. A bag of coke. Like, a bag you know what's of coke. funny about it was it's funny about <laughs> what y'all gram, were just saying. Bag. When I typed in his name to see how old he was, the top story is Marvel fans thought Tom Holland might leak Avengers spoilers after getting see? his wisdom teeth pulled. Try to tell you, try to tell you, dog. Nah. He has a problem. I see, what they'll do is they'll just numb his mouth with cocaine. <laughs> Bro, this man went from being young to having Molly, no, now no. prostitutes, and cocaine. I'm just, I'm just joking, man. Listen, yeah, we're just Tom, Tom Holland. I, I appreciate you. Love, love what you're doing. All right. Yeah, we, we think you're probably 
probably one of I don't the, want anybody to be listening to this like yo. He's probably the most accurate uh rendition of Spider Man, honestly. Yeah, you actually, look at Spider Man as like the young kid. As a kid, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. He's he's probably the best rendition we've gotten. Yeah. Everyone else was an older dude trying to play a younger person. Yeah, I don't know how it will feel with Tom Holland acting like because you know he's 22, but you know he's gonna he's gonna stack like the high school kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's gonna. Have to. Did you hate that when it's like 27 year old and then like in high school and shit? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, you way too old for this shit. Like, like you you know you know you don't look 18 like not anymore. They told you that the producers told you that, but you don't. Yeah, I can tell the difference. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what's the last topic that we got? That was everything, bro. That was everything. Nah, that was everything. Nah, we, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. We, we did the on gonna, this day. He's gonna diss. You gonna just dare them? Damn, like this? the devil. Oh, the devil has been dissed. I'm sorry. How dare Damn, you? you cancel this motherfucker. I can't cancel his ass. I cancel his ass again. The truth be told, it was it's canceled. Yeah, it's no reviews this week either, y'all. Surprise. The devil of hell's kitchen. Yeah. I just finished watching season three, yo. What you think? Yeah, like like the other season, it was cool. So the news is that season it was season two was fantastic. Season two was better. Um, I'm, I know you were upset there was no uh, uh, Miss Dawson wasn't in the season. She got out of there before everybody. You know that, right? She did. She hopped up out of there before everybody. That's why I got canceled. That's exactly why that shit got canceled. There was Arya Dawson. No, show. I got a hot take though. I got a hot take why it got canceled because they said it wasn't oh. Marvel that had anything to do with this. Said it was people Netflix. in Marvel were were completely caught off guard by this. Okay, they were even starting. They were even getting ready to start production as close as in February. No, oh, yeah. So everything's ready to go, and then Marvel's like, "Nah." Uh, I really feel like Marvel did this to um, <clears throat> these is a miracle. They were on Vice Lamb. Yeah, yeah. Then it they announced that they had got a new show on Showtime. They still had a contract with Vice Lamb. Vice Lamb just stopped them right there. <laughs> Right, because yeah. why promote them to get ready to go to another show? You see what I'm saying? That's true. I mean, so, all you're doing is giving that other other uh, network or show or whatever, right? Just, giving them more buzz, yeah. right? So they just cut them right there. You see what I'm saying? That's a better way to do so it. So it's a lot longer between the time from the last time we seen these and Mirror on Viceland up until when they actually get on Showtime because they're not getting on Showtime until 2019, right? Take, it's taken. It took some time. It's mm-hmm. been a while since I've even really seen. It's real. definitely yeah, been, it's been a while. Out of the light, a lot more. Right, right. Longer so, than they probably wanted to be. Uh, yeah, Viceland did that. You know, so probably for that reason. But I'm thinking that if they're they, I was also reading that they can't that they can't um, <clears throat> Marvel can't put these properties on their streaming service for two years. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So I believe that Marvel's like, well, fuck, you gonna set your service up. Cancel all y'all bitches. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So, so, so you think Marvel said, <clears throat> we're going to do a streaming service. So Netflix said, all right, we done. Yeah. So when, there's going to be gonna no shows for two years. Right. Hmm. To put a hurt into them. Do you also, do you also, do you think that Marvel's also trying to clean up their, their, all their rated R Marvel shows are trying to clean them up and maybe take them out of the loop? And clean it up because it's Disney now. If it's taken over, like I mean, it could be a possibility too. Because I mean, Deadpool they're doing a PG movie now. I think they're trying to see what's going on, and maybe they might be taking out the X-rated uh, shows and movies just because. Is it Disney's Punisher about to drop? She makes me so sad. Is you know it Punisher saying? about to come out? I'm about? upset I, on that note. I don't know. I don't. I don't haven't got any word on Punisher season two. That might fuck around and be canceled too. If this is because they want to make shit it more is sad. kid friendly, that's that's Marvel for you though. Sony and them had a better vision with Marvel shit, and they could make it X rated and shit. You know, X rated. Well, X rated, but rated R. Okay, goddamn. I was about to say, Christ. wait, wait a minute, dog. You talking about fucking? Jesus. Talking, talking about Marvel, Marvel okay. characters fucking? Well, I'm talking, talking about fight, <laughs> fight and fuck scenes. <laughs> We all. <laughs> it's back. Hey, they said uh, Punisher's coming in January. <laughs> it's coming in January. Oh, shit. Season two? Good. Yeah. But it, so, there may be hope. What I'm about Jessica Jones? I'm hoping that they're not just trying to clean it up. Because if they're trying to clean it up and not have yeah, rated R suck. shows and movies because it's now Disney and it's kid friendly. That's one like, of the reasons why I like Daredevil so much because it's like, it's very adult. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very mature. Into all of them. I like, that's why I like Daredevil. You know what I'm saying? That's why I liked all the, all the, all the Netflix shows, ones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The only one that didn't seem as mature was the, um, Jessica Jones. 
No, it was definitely mature. Oh, the, yeah. uh, oh, not just you know, the other one, uh, Iron Fist. Yeah, that's the only Iron one that didn't seem, it seemed mature. What was that one with, uh, Peggy? Uh, the one from Agent something? Talking about Agent Carter? Yeah, Agent Carter. That was, what was that on? That was an like ABC. Okay, never mind. Yeah, Agents of Shield was okay. on ABC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Hulu <clears throat> actually had a series too. Marvel's Runaways. Yeah, yeah really. trash, bro. It's very trash. And also that other show that got canceled. I watched the whole one that got canceled immediately. Wait for the, it to get live. The the. No, there was another one on like FX or something. There's one that got canceled ASAP. Like, it was like it was like a black girl, a black guy, and a white girl. And then there's like some the innocence animal. No, thing. no, no. It was uh, it was like salt and spice or some shit like. that. This is so, so, oh, so I know you talking about that show too. That's another show. I can't, I can't think of what it what it's called. Right? It was a Marvel show. Yeah, I forget what it was called, but it's so something like spice. that. It's some shit like I that. know it wouldn't. That's what I'm saying. Like, listen, I don't. I didn't. I don't remember it's that kind. Black of, and white. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I think it was called like black and white. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. But anything other than salt and spice, I'm disappointed. <laughs> That's what the show is called. It's something like that, bro. For real. <laughs> Is that what it is? I don't know. I, don't, I can't. Is I don't it, even know. It's salt and spice. <laughs> it's, salt, it's salt and spice. It's salt and peppers here. No. Hold up. Hold up. What's it's this? fucking salt and spice, nigga. <laughs> That's what you believe. Right. No, I, honestly, I don't know. Yeah, no. They they all getting canceled, man. So, you know, Marvel TV is fucking up. <laughs> I really don't know. They got yeah. so much shit out there. Yeah, they got a couple. They got a couple shows that's like spread out on different on different networks, which is cool because I get what they were doing. They were trying to find like certain, I guess I don't say genres, but certain audiences for. They try to put certain certain properties in front of certain audiences. You know what I'm saying? Inhumans was the one I was thinking. Oh yeah, Inhumans. Inhumans they canceled the that. Like, yeah, that one got canceled immediately. For real? Yeah. That one like it was gonna be pretty interesting no, it was, too. That one that you're talking about right now, because yeah, Salt's money. No, I, I, I don't know where to find. So hell, they got a lot of. So they got Legion, The Gifted as well. I forgot about those. Start with type the cloak and dagger. Cloak and dagger. Type That's in it. Marvel cloak and dagger. Cloak and dagger. <laughs> That's Salt and Spice in a nutshell. Salt and Spice, yeah, Cloak and <laughs> Cloak and Dagger is not Salt and Spice. Is that the same? I That's not the same. I you didn't get the same vibes? Similar. Not no, the same vibes? Not even Bullshit, a... same vibes, nigga. <laughs> Coke and Dagger is, is salt and spice. You <laughs> <laughs> said salt and spice. Man, that's shit, no, dog. We are we at the end of this, yeah. uh, uh, this episode. We appreciate everybody for joining us. Make sure you subscribe on the YouTube, trimmac.com slash YouTube. Uh, also, to, um, we're not going to be recording the episode next week. Um, so we're just going to be doing a, uh, and why not? A best of. Because look how I'm fucking dressed. All right? That's why. Because it's going to be the holidays and go spend it with your family. God. I hope that y'all can hear that this whole episode, every time he's turned his head, we hear sleigh bells. So All day. I, I hope y'all can hear that on the episode. Yeah. Yeah, I, try to, I just try to be a little festive for uh, the episode before Christmas. I didn't know if we were going to have one right before Christmas. I didn't know. It's, it's just a, what it is. Open Obviously. your gifts. Now, we we are going to record one before for uh, New Year's Day, so we will be back yes. New Year's Day. That we will. New Year 2019, right up in people's asses, okay? <laughs> Foots up asses. Foot, foots up in <laughs> Foot, foot boots to asses. Hey, look, right. I, I think 21 drops on Friday, too, so. Oh, this Friday? Yeah. Oh, so we're going to be back with the 21 Savage Review. Oh, have a week right. to sit on it, so. We'll have a whole week to sit on yep. it. It'll be the first review of 2019. That shit marinate. Yeah. So we appreciate everybody, man. Thank y'all yeah, thank for y'all. Uh, for joining us. Supporting. Uh, we appreciate everybody that's been supporting yes, the we year. Do. We appreciate uh, all the people, that all the fans, all the trains, all the train nets. All those YouTube subscribers. Yes. Anyone who's anyone who's uh purchasing anything, getting any merch from us. You yes. Know, and uh what you should do instead of listening to Christmas holiday songs is just put our podcast from playlist one all the way through. Just listen Yo, to listen If you to listen us. from yeah, if you listen from episode Listen to the podcast all the way through. Yeah, listen to how we've got how we've for the progressed. next two weeks, you are a fucking G. Yeah, you're a G right. and, and you'll hear the evolution. All right. You know, and the uh, process, yeah, and we are gonna be about this thing, no, see, no, talk about deuces.
smoke some bitch. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, niggas. And the fight go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Truth Be Told podcast. Be sure to subscribe and log on to Trillmatic.com for the latest in underground music, film, fashion, and more.